What do you got there? Um, got a gore hacker. It's a real live gore hacker. I thought you were gonna bring your orcs tonight. What happened? Um, I've been jamming on on some undead recently and just trying to stay in practice. Nice. So we're gonna have a battle of Nagash's minions tonight. Back again with Flesh Eaters. I'm on a tear of uh, playing them. Not so well, but I'm playing them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm going to try and figure the army out and actually get uh, good at it as I... Yeah, but now you got you got the king. The king with you. How can the, you go the, wrong? The summer, <laughs> the summer king has finally arrived, mm -hmm. along with one of my favorite models in the whole new range, which you'll see up close in a oh, minute. Oh, Gourmain. Mr. Gourmain oh, with his excited. fancy hat. I love the hat. It's pretty cool. All right. Thanks for coming out, Rob. Glad Thanks for glad having to me. Have you. This is going to be kind of a fun game. You know, I haven't mm -hmm. played in a while. It's been a while yeah. since the last time when we uh, did a channel one, I think. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So this will be a cool game to catch. And uh, obviously, like we were saying, Soul Blight versus Feck. And uh, lots of wolves, which you'll yeah, get into a couple the details. Good boys. <laughs> get into the details of those in a minute here. So yeah. thanks for joining us and check out the list. All right, Flesh Eater Courts. We're playing Holomorn today. Probably the best or close to the best sub faction. The other ones are all right, but this is arguably one of the better ones. Not taking full advantage of it today, as you'll see, but I don't think you need to lean into it 100% for effect to be effective. Just boosting that block of horrors, which we'll talk about in a minute, I think is pretty much good enough. And then sitting on the throne over here, we got the special edition model of the Abhorrent Arch Regent. He's going to be toting Horfrost today. He is not my general, even though usually I like the Arch Regent as a general. Moving on from the Arch Regent, we have, wait for it, wait for it, a second Arch Regent with Merciless Blizzard as his spell. Next to him, we have our general, the Marrow Scroll Herald. He can't be seen when he's within six of a unit, of my unit, which is pretty nice for just having a general that's kind of hard to kill. Command Trade's Cruel Taskmaster, Artifact is Charnel Vestments, and the Prayer is going to be Charnel Conviction, which he gets from that artifact I mentioned. Moving on from there, we have Grand Justice Gourmain in all of his intestiny glory. So excited to try this out. I'm not sure how effective he's going to be. Like, his abilities are good, but they don't generate noble deeds, which is weird. So... We'll see. Hopefully his abilities on their own are good enough. And then, the masterpiece. The big man himself. Usharan. He has escaped from his shroud cage. And he is ready to reap vengeance upon the mortal realms. And maybe Nagash, but he can't remember because he's absolutely crazy. So, who knows? Uh, spell's going to be Deranged Transformation. He's going to do a lot of cool things, which you'll get to see in the game. Uh, I'm excited to try him. I've never put him on the table, so this is going to be a first. Moving on from there, you can see behind a large amount of crypt goals, that giant blob is actually three separate units of 20. Just kind of doing some uh, MSU, even though they're not really all that small. And then last but not least is the big block of horrors. We got a unit of nine. I did get another three in and built and painted them up. So that way we could uh, try out the unit of nine and see how it does curious to see and then supporting them we've got well it came from a different realm when you summon it 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 doesn't quite match the army but it doesn't need to it's the purple sun purple sun's going to do purple sun things uh, i don't think it even matters if i get caught in its own little bubble because i don't have very good saves anyway and then last but not least we have all the way on the left the good old chalice of usheron we have usheron so you might as well bring his cup and of course, there's all those ghouls in the back that'll benefit from it. And that makes for an even 2,000 points of flesh eaters. I have two uh, battalions. We've got a battle regiment, and then we've got the Antorian Acolytes, which will be the two um, arch regents. Let's move on to the next one. Well, today we're coming to town with uh, the Virkos Dynasty in Soulblight Gravelords. For my grand strategy, I'm going to attempt to control more of my grave sites at the end of the game than those uh, flesh, filthy flesh eaters. For my battalions, I took the command entourage to get an extra spell and a battle regiment. 
in leading my army. On the back left, we have Belladama Volga. She's going to be my general, even though she's normally a general. In addition, in Virkos, you can give a unique character's artifacts and command traits. Her command trait is going to be the Hunter's Snare, so that she counts as nine when contesting an objective. She comes with two spells on her War Scroll, one that lets you do D3 damage to an enemy unit and turn them into a unit of wolves, and another one that creates a 24-inch bubble of exploding sixes for my army. She's a two-caster with a plus one, and the two spells that she knows from the lore are Vile Transference, which does damage and heals her, and Soul Pike, which is basically reverse Ogre Charge. And she's rocking the Ulfin Carney Phylactery, which creates a 9-inch bubble of 5-up Lord for all of my summonable units, which is everything except the knights and the heroes. On the far right-hand side, we've got backing her up, Luke of I, who is also a War Master. She's got the Avangori keyword, so she won't be getting all the benefits of everything. But what she does do is allow herself to do two monstrous actions. She's got a War Scroll spell that gives her a 6-inch pylon when she points at a unit and casts it on it. And then the two spells that she's coming with are also Vile Transference and Spirit Gale, which allows you to just do mortal wounds to anyone on the table. In the middle, on the left, supporting them is Torgelius the Chamberlain. His special rule is that he creates a 12-inch bubble of 5-up ward for summonable units. And the two spells that he knows right now are Waste Away, to make you minus one to wound and minus one damage, and Fading Vigor, to be minus one to your attacks. Next to him is just a good old-fashioned Necromancer. His War Scroll spell lets a summonable unit fight in the hero phase. And the two spells that he has are the Fun Police of Horfrost and Merciless Blizzard. Nice. <laughs> um... In the back, supporting all of these heroes, we've got a single MSU unit of Blood Knights. Uh, they're a three-up save unit that's a little punchy, um, and hopefully they're just going to go there and hold up those, uh, those horrors for a little bit. In front of them, on the left, we have a reinforced unit of Graveguard with pole weapons. These are my, my biggest hammer in the list. They can, they can do some pretty big damage if they actually connect. To the right of them, we got a unit of 20 Death Rattle Skeletons. They do a lot of recursion, and they're not really hitty, but they can do some stuff sometimes. And then the main event in the front, we have the good boys. We're starting with a unit of 20 and a unit of 10, and then Virkos has a special hero action that they're going to use to summon yet another unit of 10 at the beginning of the game. And that's the list. That's awesome. So, we're going to play Spring the Trap. I'm going to switch it to the overhead, check it out. Objectives down the middle, three of them. Really cramped deployment zones, which Rob, you know, very nicely made more cramped with putting these giant pieces of terrain in the middle. He was the defender and got to set up the battlefield. Um, yeah, we get to outflank. So are you going to outflank, Rob? Because I'm not. I'm not. And it might not be too easy to see from the camera, but I've got grave sites across the three central objectives and one hiding in the back of my deployment zone. Yeah, he's got these nice clear grave sites that you can kind of see the reflection on that one there, but the other two, they're, they're hiding. We can see them, you can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and from there, I uh, dropped first. I was three, you were four drops, so I get to decide who's going to go first. And uh, which for I, me is about nine drops less than usual. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I don't know exactly what the best way to go here is, so I'm just going to give it a split second thought, and when we come back, you'll see who's going first. All right, we're going with a turn one flesh eater quartz. I uh, have a streak right now of taking the first turn when I have the choice for some reason. I'm not sure why. We'll find out. It's a good choice with death armies usually. I think it's a good choice in the uh, context of what I'm going up against, the amount of wounds, and the fact that you can essentially just pin me into my deployment zone turn one in this particular good scenario. Good boys would never do that. No, they would never do that. No, <laughs> no never. So before I decide my battle tactic, I want to do my magic dice. So let's roll for those. So the regular magic die. Yes. And yep, so we're up to two each. And then I have the Antorian Locust, which under that castle is a three. You got it. So I will have two. I'm You're very three. much contemplating, well, three technically, yeah. I meant I have one more than you is where I was getting at. You do. So I'm thinking about forcing through a magical dominance and just taking my chances there. 
Um, it could be better than Intimidate because Intimidate kind of forces me to not be in optimal positioning, which I think is really important against his army. And if I fail the battle tactic, I fail it. So I'm going to go with Magical Dominance. Remind me which command trait you took. I took the uh, one that my general here can spend less points. Okay. De noble Deeds the, points. The recursion to, guy, yeah, not the spell do, guy. To do his thing. So I'm going to flip it back to the overhead so you can hopefully at least see the dice a little bit. We're going to work on getting a dice camera soon. <laughs> I know people have requested it. So we got to do the D3 Noble Deeds for the throne for that guy, which we'll spin, and we'll get the big old three. So I'm going to use these black dice to denote my Noble Deeds. Yep. So he's going to have three here. My heroic action, I'm going to do the Flesh Eaters one with the guy in the back here. So there's four heroes that are within range of him. I set up for that. So fives will give him Noble Deeds. Wow, we're going to hit three on that too. We're, we're cooking with Crisco today. Uh, what's Very your, noble. What's your heroic action, <laughs> sir? Uh, well, for going second, I'm going to make my Necromancer a two cancer. Yep. Two, two caster oh. for this for this round. It's probably uh, better than the cancer. <laughs> probably better than the cancer. Um, and then we're going to go for an additional command point on Belladonna, which he does not get in my heroic action. All right. Um, I don't think I have any other start of the hero phase stuff. Uh, the rest of it is all, I'm pretty sure, in the hero phase. So, oh, nope, the uh, Aberrant Arch Regents are at the start, but they can't use them right now because everybody's nope. topped up. And Gormain is in the hero phase. So, moving on from there, we're going to go to prayers and casting and doing the Gormain thing. I have him in front of me, so I might as well just do it. Um, one enemy unit, plus one to wound against him. Oh, I got to do... Usharan. And what is your overall... My overall one is Feast Day. Okay. I think when you're playing Usharan, you just have to choose Feast Day. And then from there, you use him to pick the ones that make sense. So the one that we're going to do for this turn is going to be... Plus one save on an objective? Uh, I don't know. That's not all that great. Um, it can be. Depends on, you know, I don't know. the Mystic setup. Mystic Shield's pretty good. Give it to your whole army. <laughs> yeah. Just the saves in general in Flesh Eaters aren't great, you know? So, I could do that, or I could do plus one to run and charge, but I'm not going to be charging this turn. So, we'll do the plus one to save for this uh, round. For Flesh Eater courts that Defenders are on an objective of the realm. that I control. <laughs> Defenders of the Realm and Feast Day. Okay. Now we will do some actual casting here. So we're going to go with, uh, it doesn't really matter. Who's your plus one caster? The and one who's front and center. And she's in range of everything. So um, as much as I'd love to, you know, cast all of my spells, I think it's more important to get the battle tactic. So I'm just going to try and shove through something. The question is what? We go with... You might as well do Horfrost just because it's got the highest casting. Well, Horfrost or Purple Sun. And I think getting the yeah, Purple either Sun one. out is the one I'm going to go with. So we'll just do it from the guy in the front because it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. And hopefully we can roll a six and then get a six on one of the magic mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, the worst thing you can do is cast something on a five and a one. <laughs> we, got a, we got a six in there. We got an eight. So we don't have any ones, which is good news. Keep it rolling. Sure. Now we're going to roll a six here, I think. No. Oh, there's your one. Oh, yeah, there is a one. I need to force it through, though, so... We're gonna play some risky riskiness risky here. Risky business. We're playing the risky business. We got a five, and we're just gonna go for it. I support this decision. And we got the one. Oh no! Primal miscast. <laughs> How's it work again, Rob? I haven't looked, played. I've uh, done take this to myself. Three plus D three mortal wounds, and then every unit around you within three inches will take D three. All right. So three plus D three on the big guy. We'll have five. He will ward those off on. Fives. Now, the the upside of this is you haven't failed your battle tactic yet. I haven't. All right, we'll ward off two of those. Um, he's going to do his 2d3 healing. Yep. We'll do the other mortal wounds in a second. We'll just do it now. Um, so 2d3 healing. You got so it. He's, <laughs> so he's good. That's cool. He's a beefy boy. Yeah, and then it's d3 to everybody else? D3 to every unit within three. Within three. All right, so Including enemy units, so sometimes it's so spicy. He is within three, so the hero guy, d3. Uh, two, so sixes. Nothing. Uh, so he will take his two. I'll get the wound counter out in a second. The horrors, um, d3. I think they also heal like d3 two. in the hero phase, too, they, don't they? They all do, yeah. Yeah. So um, sixes, nothing. So those are two wounds on them. And then the ghouls. I don't know why I'm rolling two dice. It's a d3. <laughs> <laughs> Two. I was predicting that. 
All right, so we'll lose two ghouls. And then these other guys are going to heal. So let's do the D3 healing. So on the hero, D3. We'll heal it up. And then D3 here. We will heal one of those. So we'll have a, a horror with one wound. And we're going to lose two ghouls. The horror. The horror. We'll pull these two guys out. All right. So two dudes dead there. Um, we're going to move on to try and cast another spell here. So, uh, what's my next option? I guess Horfrost with this guy, because uh, it is what it is. You, you don't want to low cast it. Seven, so nothing. All right. Um, what do we do next? Mystic Shield? This is what it is? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to go for it, either that or your plus the wound spell. Seven. All right, we're going to attempt to unbind this with Bell. He's going to start on a four and go up to an eight. All right. Battle tactic fail. So moving on from there, we can cast the rest of our spells now. So no uh, mystic shield. And we got two more spells. We'll cast the chalice, I suppose. On an eight. And then we'll attempt to unbind that with um, Luca. He does not have a bonus. And that is an eight, um, and we'll hold on to our, our extra primal. You got that. Okay, I'll figure out the range on this in just a minute here. And then, uh, what else do I cast with that one? Can't blizzard. So, I guess we just have... Plus two to move and plus one to wound. Uh, that's on him. Oh. The plus one to wound? That's that, not a spell. Yeah, that same movement spell is also giving you plus one to wound. Oh, that one, yeah. yeah. But uh, I thought you were talking about something else. So what's his, it's, I think it's just bringing models back in a certain range, yeah. We'll just do an arcane bolt. I'll uh, get it on, on a three, so nothing. And then we've got a prayer here. I um, also got to be counting these, so he got one, one successful spell off, and nobody else got successful spells off. Um, he's going to do his thing in a minute, and then we're going to do this guy. So on a three, no. So he will take a mortal wound on a six, no. Okay. Well, we're, we're doing lots of big stuff here. Are you sure you're not playing Skaven? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is this is how it goes sometimes. So is Gourmain's thing a prayer? Or Gourmain's is thing prayer? is not a prayer, so you don't get noble deeds. It's just a thing that you do, but you still roll it like a prayer. Okay. But they made it not a prayer. But not a prayer. You don't, you don't want it to be too powerful <laughs> to get one noble deed. We, we can't give can't give priests to death. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, I got a priest. I have priests in the army, but he's mm -hmm. not a priest, even he though he has a priest-like priest -like ability. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird. And he's got a great set of locks. Yeah. I guess, oh, I forgot. He has a run and charge thing. That's kind of cool. Okay. So I can pick one of your, oh, yeah. I can pick one of your right? units, and then I can run and charge towards it. So we'll just do the uh, plus one to wound one. We'll do it on the big unit of wolves. So on a three. No. Cool. We don't want abilities. What Ability, is the range of this thing? Is it just board, is it visible. Tight? visible. That's a good range. Yeah, so uh, Flesh Eater abilities are not working. <laughs> so I guess we're going to go uh, move some stuff. I don't think there's anything else to do. Exciting turn one. Very. Yeah, there's no charging. Uh, I don't think there's any shooting. Does Ushran shoot? I, I highly doubt it. No, I don't we'll, think we'll so. double check, but I don't think he does. Chalice is over there behind that building. So I can't so you can see, it. I kind of just pushed forward with everything here. Trying to take up some space on the board, get the board presence that he wanted me, or wanted to deny me, and just kind of make some hard decisions for Rob to make. Uh, he's going to do whatever he does, which is going to be somehow engaging me and trying to score some points. I will get a three-point turn. I failed my battle tactic, and we will go into turn two. Well, your turn, one. For bottom of one. Soul Blade. For Soul Blade. For good boys. And I uh, don't need to worry about <laughs> Battle Shock over here. I only lost two models, so can't fail it. Soul Blade. Soul Blade. Um, for my battle attack, I'll be leading into the Maelstrom, charging a hero in a battle line, and hopefully they, they don't kill everything around them. I think you can do it. Usually good boys aren't that good. <laughs> <laughs> they, just, they just want pets. Um, Primal dice, I got one floating over from your side, so I do not generate one for the group. 
That's cocked as all can be, and it fell off the table. So let's try this again. Yes. All right. So you've got two. I've got two. Heckwood. Yeah, you, you get one. I got two. Yes. We both have two. Nice and fair. Um, I am unable to see the endless spell, so I am unable to attempt to dispel it. Um, or actually, they don't care about dispelling it, but those guys might be able to see it way over there. Uh, spell casting. We're going to start with. Well, first off, I have six casts. How many unbinds do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't need to play any games. We're just going to play them straight. Yep. So we're going to try start. Six, I'll try six. <laughs> we're going to start with the necromancer hanging out in the back there, and he's going to attempt to cast Mystic Shield. And that will go on a 10. Well, we'll try it. Nope. For me. So we're yes, going to put you. that Mystic Shield. Well, I'll put out all my markers later. But that Mystic Shield is going to go on to the unit of 20 skeletons. We're going to follow that up with the same guy attempting to cast Horfrost. Um, and that will be on a 9. Um, and he'll kick in a Primal to that to make it a 12. All right. Let's take a roll. That well, is a 12. a 12. So we'll kick in a Primal to unbind it. Oh, no. We aren't Frosty. <laughs> Um, we're then going to come over to Belladama, who's going to attempt to cast her Exploding Sixes spell uh, under Killing Moon on an 11. Well, we'll try, because we can. Okay. No reason not to. That's a 5, so it's all yours. All right, we've got a 24-inch bubble, so army-wide Exploding Sixes, unless I really split up. We're going to follow that up with... You know what? We're here to make wolves. We're gonna we're gonna do some liking curse. We're gonna make some good boys. Um, that's gonna start on a seven. Seven, and we will leave it on a seven. All right. Let's see what happens. That, that's more than a seven. <laughs> so Bell Dom is finished had some casting. Pretty high rolls here. Yep. The Necker is finished casting. We're then going to flip over to Luke of I, who is going to cast her War Scroll spell, which gives her a six inch pile in when she's around a unit that I pick. Um, then it's going to start on a five. It casts on a six, and we will add a dice to it. So we will take that on a nine. Let's see what happens. See if I can do another 11. It's not 11, it's an eight. What's your last spell? Uh, it's the debuff. What does it do? Either minus one to wound and minus one damage, or minus one to your attack characteristics. You can have that. All right, we are going to select... Well, isn't this the six-inch pylon one? This is. So I pick a target unit. When I, when within oh. six of that unit, I oh, have access to the pylon. Oh, that's, di that's different. Okay. So I am going to pick the Arch Regent with Blizzard. Okay. Um, and then we are going to cast, for our very last spell, we are going to attempt to waste away, which will go off on an eight. What's this one do? Uh, this minus one off? to wound and minus one damage. Six. So we'll throw our primal at it. And no, no wasting. We got it. <laughs> yeah, that one would hurt. All right. Are you done with your hero phase? Done with hero phase. All right. Let's move. What'd you do? All right, movement phase. Uh, we decided to just push all of our chips into the middle and have ourselves the good old destruction game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's the way you do it. That's how death plays. I moved up my pack of 20 wolves on this side, hoping that I will be able to charge them and kill off a few more than they kill of me. Um, that chalice might make it challenging, but we're here to throw dice. Sure In are. the middle, I've set up charges for Luke of I and... Maybe, maybe, if Are I have to. Are you going to try and not fail your battle tactic like I did? I'm going to try. I managed to keep Beldama and the Blood Knights outside of Blizzard range, but Lukavai is danger close. Um, and then we just ran the dead skeletons into the middle so that next turn they can hopefully go and do some work. And we moved up this unit of wolves as our backup charge, but they are within six of enemy units so that even if they fail their charges, 
they can pile in six inches and give me that extra double layer of screens. More importantly, your skeletons have a note card. Oh yes, my skeletons have a mystic shield and Belladama's got a bubble of exploding sixes that's currently hitting everything in my army. And this guy is the current victim of uh, Lukavai's attention. <laughs> Um, during that whole process, I did redeploy these ghouls forward to purposely try and block out Lukavai hopping over my lines to try and get to the Arch Region. Still possible if he rolls a giant charge, but otherwise it's unlikely because you really need a 12 in order for that to happen. More realistically, I'm hoping to kill a bunch of ghouls with the Blood Knights and then pile around. <laughs> or that. Yep. But at least trying to prevent the charge part. And then uh, I forgot to do my heroic action, and so we did do it, and I got one more noble deed on this guy here. Okay. Um, this is strange to say, but I have a shooting phase. What? What? Um, and I'm even going to all out attack for that shooting phase. Cool. Um, and it is this fun fellow right here, Torgelius, and he is going to fire off 2d6 shots towards... Ooh, who do I shoot at? I'm going to shoot these shots at um, the unit of ghouls that we're trying to kill. We're just going to make sure to, to ultra murder. They will be plus one save. Um, we're going to... They're on an objective I control. Let's see. We can all-out defense, all-out attack, and inspiring presence. So we will not spend the command point on this and just roll them raw. So 2d6 attacks, fours and fours, rend so one. So no all-out attack? No all-out attack. All right. 2d6 attacks, 4s and 4s, rend 1, damage 2. For 2 attacks, glad oh, we yeah. did not yeah, all that attack go. it. <laughs> Spending those command points effectively. 1 hit. And that is a death shooting phase. Done. Alright, cool. <laughs> glad we came. Which brings us to charges. And we can get right into it. Let's do it. So, first charge that we're going to attempt is going to be uh, this pack of 20 wolves. And they're going four, which is enough. You're doing it. And you're doing the thing. Get this about there. Yeah, just leave that, and then you can pile the 20 in yep. after you roll the rest of them. And then from there, the next charge is going to be Luke of I. Who gets a three? Hey, you did it. That's all we needed. <laughs> Actually, is that all we needed? Yes, that is all we needed. Boom. And then we've got the Blood Knight. Ooh. Oh, I think we're going to re-roll the Blood Knight charge. <laughs> That's a much better knight roll for a 10. Um, and they are going to come in... Are you going to charge these wolves? I'm going to see where I land the knights, and that will determine whether or not I charge the wolves. All right, we'll show you how that goes in a second. Yep. So what did you decide to do? So I decided to do the destruction player thing and play it conservative. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to focus on trying to entirely lift this unit of ghouls and set myself up for you to get the next turn. Um, I realize I might not be able to take this objective over here with the way the chalice and damage might play out, but if I feel like if I could secure the center and be ready to take a hit on the chin, then I'll be in a good spot. Let's do it. All right. Uh, monstrous actions, I get two of them. So I am, oh, actually, Riders of Rune, I actually have to look this up because I've never used it before. I go over little models and do damage to them. Cool. With the Blood Knights. I'm just so used to playing the light armies with them. Um, Gwyn's characteristic of three or less, and it's on a two plus, they'll suffer d3. So on a two up, they suffer one, and they go into the chalice. One's going into the chalice. All right, that's going to be going to be a spicy chalice. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll, we'll take um, this guy in the back. And then for monstrous actions, we'll begin by roaring at we'll, the ghouls. We'll put the chalice in the trees here. Sure. The ghouls are roared, and then we'll attempt to stop on them because Lukavai gives herself a second monstrous action. Okay. And she successfully stomps for three mortal wounds. Nice stomp. We'll lose two more to the chalice. I'm just looking up chalice rules, but sure. we'll pull them out of the way. And we will then activate with... Luke of I first. 
And we'll drop our dice on the floor. <laughs> Throw them at the floor. And I'll come over here to my dice bag. So she is just gonna, we got two command points left. She's just gonna throw them like she is. So she's got five attacks on her saber. These are threes and threes, Ren two damage two. And we have no exploding sixes on her, but yes for everybody else. Okay. So that is three hits. And that is two at Ren two. Okay, no save. So two damage each, so total of four. We then get three of her big gory talons on twos and threes. These are Ren 2 damage three. One will hit. One at Ren 2 for damage three. And then finally, D6 tails for one tail on fours and fours, Ren 1 damage one. And that misses. Seven ward saves. Save one of those, so lose six dudes. I gotta decide, of course, which six dudes I wanna lose. You've already activated, so she's not doing her pile in shenanigans. Correct. So and while I, I can wanna... chain activate with my three other heroes, you she's can't. not Virko, so she doesn't trigger it. Okay. Question is do I want to leave her in combat or do I want to pull her out of combat? I don't think I can fully pull her out of combat. I can't until I lose more models. But I also wanna get as many attacks into the knights as I possibly can. So I think we're going to do something like this. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Into the chalice, into the cup. It's kind of cool. He, wear, he has a cup on the model, too. It's a little smaller than this cup, but yep. it's right there on his hip. <laughs> All right, and we'll we'll pile in like so. Not gonna go too far. We don't want to pull in any more knights. We just want to get all the ghouls into combat. And we're gonna put everything into the knights. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now they do have feast day from this guy here. Cool. So they will be plus one to their attacks, which is kind of fun. I've not done that yet. Spiffy. So, three attacks piece. And I will all out defense the knights. And I what, counted 11, right? So it'll be 33 attacks. Mm -hmm. And the Vangorian Lord is reducing your Ren by one. Cool. So I'll go from Ren 1 to Ren none. And you've got, of course, what, a two-up save now? Yep. So this is 20. 25. Just roll the 25, and then I gotta roll uh, nine more because of the champion. This will be fours and fours. They will be auto wounding on sixes to hit. Auto wounds. Got a whole bunch of these bad boys out. Okay. These are wound rolls. I'm gonna put those there. Go three, six, nine. One, six for an auto wound. A few more hits. And we got a wound roll. Uh, not very good wound roll, but hey, we got some auto wounds in there, so that's okay. So, nine. No run. All right, we got five. We've got nine dice, saving on twos. We saved the ball. All right. Well, that was definitely worth all that trouble. Oh, look at these glorious six inch gauges over here. And we're going to activate. So we've got a six inch pile with the wolves. So you're going to go up to here. Let's get everybody in the frontage that we can. You guys are going to the back. Stack on each other. We've got 
16 on the objective. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fighting. With 1 alpha. So that is 21 attacks. So 5, 10. 15 and 20 and 21 and let's just make sure we're not getting too generous um i actually think i might have piled that outside of my bubble file yeah. backwards if you'd like Nah, we, we want to get everyone in so we, we don't have our exploding sixes on this unit all right piled a little too far but they will be my all out attack unit. So they will be you have on. rend, right? No rend. Either way, I will. Well, I'll still be capped at the plus one because you have no rend. So no rend doesn't matter. So these are uh, threes and fours. Really strong start. And fours. Which leaves five, seven at no rend. Seven at no rend, so we got fives. Save two. The goal here is to kill one. <laughs> Just get them off bonus. Sixes. There we go. So we're going to lose four. All right. Four into the cup. Your cup runneth over. We'll leave that one. We'll take that one. Cup is running. Alrighty. Guess we have these guys. Do a little piling. Not gonna probably retain the objective, but we'll get them all into combat. So two. Well, I lost four, so sixty. So don't have feast day over there. So it'll be uh, thirty-three total attacks with the leader. So we got same deal we just did, really. <laughs> it's kind of funny. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah. All right. So we'll all attack. So it'll be threes and fours. And sixes will auto wound. This seems like a good roll. I'm glad we got rid of those auto wounding fives. <laughs> There's a lot of them in there. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Yeah, I thought about starting with them, but I was really hoping to do something to the Blood Knights, even though I knew they'd be saving pretty well. I forgot about the minus one Ren thing, though. I didn't know you did that until I we were there. No, it's not your fault. It's just I didn't ask. So, no big deal. Yeah, she's kind of a little kryptonite -y to uh, the Flesh Eaters. Alright, so that's the wound so far. I got nine more dice. Rolling good on these. Yeah, I wish I had the fives. That'd be cool. Two auto wounds. Uh, uh, one more. So, five, ten, thirteen. Negative one. That's a big bubble. Um, yeah. yeah, that is a big bubble. So these are on sixes. Hey, we saved a few. And get that later. We'll find it later. <laughs> and then we got another six up ward. Or this is the six up ward. Before was the save. One good boy, two good boy, three good boys, and a half of a good boy. So one good boy, two good boys, and I'll borrow your good boys for my boys. chalice. There you go. Going into the cup. No. Friends don't make friends mark one win mo two win models. <laughs> <laughs> Put you there. So we got 16 dudes in the chalice. And then I believe you're out of activations. I am. You could always cut, you know, pile into Ushra well, if you'd one like. One thing I do need to check is who I'm closer to. So you are one, two, three, four, five. You are one, two, three, four, five. So you're equidistance to both of them. 
So we're going to choose to pile along him. We are going to... The skeletons have a six inch too? Oh, it's the just the wolves. wolves. Oh, the wolves. So the wolves are just going to basically shimmy over to be wall number three. So you all pile up closer. I assume you're staying out. Yeah, it's staying outside of three still. Yeah. We're just here to be layers. We're like onions. And then we're going to activate with the Blood Knights, which are where they're going to be. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, you can scooch just a little that way. I won't complain. Um, I'll actually scooch slightly this way. Yeah, this way. Um, actually, you can slide this way. Yeah, you're going to have to stay. And do you fit between? You do. You're going to come up to there. So I believe he's probably outside of an inch, but within two. Yeah, he's within two for sure. Yeah. He's outside of an inch. So you guys keep piling. So we'll have three riders and two horses all going into the ghouls. So three riders at three attacks of Lance. Um, and the hero is the one with the little, the leader has the little mace, so he gets an extra. These are going to be threes and threes because we charge. These are rend, well, they're always rend two, but they are damaged two because they charged. Okay. Uh, and we have exploding sixes for Beldama. So we miss with these, but we get one hit back from the explosions. And then threes. So we've got five at Ren, or four at Ren two damage two. So eight damage. And then we've got six from the hooves on fours with one six exploding and fours. We have three at no rend for one damage. Okay, fives, save one. And that is all of my activations. All right, see if we can roll some sixes. got one so that's what five nine so i think they're alive maybe nine dudes go into the cup so i guess we'll it doesn't i got we'll do this two four six eight one guy two four six eight nine right sure i'm not counting right two four Six, eight, nine. Yeah, so there's two dudes. Okie dokie. They're going into the cup. All right, what's next, Rob? Um, Battle Shock. All right, well, we're going to use a command point to save them. That makes sense. And then we've got some... And then uh, the cup. Ch chal chalice <laughs> things to do. Look at all that stuff so got, in the chalice. we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 dice. All right. Hey, I just so happen to have 25 dice right here. <laughs> That worked out. So we're gonna do fours and then start returning some models. Let's pull these guys out. All right, so I'm gonna get back five, 10, 15, 16 models. Just replenish that full unit and leave the other one alone. I've got 14 or 16 over here. No, I'm, I'm not going to hold that. And over here, I've got 5, 10, 19, plus 11, so uh, plus 3, so 33. Yeah, I'm not going to take the objectives. It's just trying to decide which unit. I don't know that I care about replenishing four models there, so I'm going to replenish all of them here. Makes sense. Um. I'll do that in a minute here, so because it's not going to change the pointing. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get your five-point turn. So it's going to be five points for Soul Blight to three points for Flesh Eaters. Sure. And then we have a uh, roll off. I feel so, like we got to trust in the Zinch dice. All right. Well, I'm going to trust in the same dice I always use, and see what happens. Got a five. I got a four. 
So we're going to have to probably soak a double here. I am returning 16 models there, which they're just going to wrap yep. around. So I, I think I am going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. we'll, we'll be back with the turn. Let me, let me think about this. Yeah, yep, I'm going to take it. <laughs> All right. So, Soul Blight, top of two. Top of two. Into the totally, totally not crazy double. Um, our goal this round is a Soul Blight battle tactic. I can't remember the exact name of it, but the gist is I pick a summonable unit that is currently within combat. And at the end of the turn, they must still be in combat and have slain at least one model. I don't think you can do it. <laughs> they, they might. They might not kill one model. They, they, they've been known to do that. <laughs> We're going to find out. We're going to find out. <laughs> but mostly, I, I want to be able to hard press everything in the middle, so I don't want to have to worry about not using all of my spells or trying to retreat stuff out and getting you tripped up. I feel that if I can essentially wall you off from putting a scoring unit into the middle, that's probably pretty significant for the rest of the game. Could be. Could be. We'll find out. We'll find out. Magic dice? Magic dice. No. I, no. Uh, Acloids? Oh my god. No. We've got some honest spell casting happening yeah, up in here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna use my Virkos hero action. That's gonna add D3 models to a Deadwalker unit. And Bella's Dama is gonna give these blue wolves an extra Two, two good boys to join the party. They can go over their starting amount? They can go over their starting amount with it. Yep. Oh, that's fancy. Um, and can they, they be within combat? They can't be within combat, but we're actually going to have them come over there. Because for no particular reason. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm going to do the uh, Flesh Eaters one again with the Marrow Scroll Herald. It still is in range of four heroes. And we will get one more. All right, so spell casting. Um, since you are going second, what would you like to do for your uh, your acolyte bonus? Uh, I'm gonna add another spell to. Mm, where do I get a command point? So I'll be at three. Hmm. I guess I could do a command point on the uh, Marrow Scroll Herald. I could come in handy with all the combats and things that are gonna be happening. So we'll do that. Okie dokie. We are going to start our spell casting. And the first spell that we're going to attempt to cast is going to be, since it's all on a spell casting, Belladama is going to attempt to Vile Transference into Ushara. Um, which does not go up on a five. All right. <laughs> does it feel weird to be honest? Um, not this army. I haven't been taking the Acolytes Battalion with Soul Blight. Um, even though they like spell casting, their, their spells are really just kind of icing on the cake. You don't need them to drive the engine. Yeah. Um, so what's next? Uh, next, we're going to come over to our Necromancer on foot, and he is going to cast Horfrost. And that is not going to go off on a 7. We're going to follow that up with Torgelius, who is going to cast... Waste away. That will not go up on a four. All right. I'm feeling the theme. Yeah. Um, we're going to follow that up with Belladama, who is going to cast Mystic Shield. On a five, that does go off. <laughs> going to make you roll some dice. <laughs> it's like, you can't, fa you can't fail all oh, of them. Oh, we got it. Snake eyes. Uh, and, and that Mystic Shield is going to go onto these Blood Knights for no particular reason. Um, and sure, then yeah. finally, uh -huh. Luke of I is going to finish with her War Scroll spell again, the one that gives her a six-inch pile in. All right. Which is not going to go off, and she's going to take D3 for three mortal wounds. Very nice. Um, and she will take all three. What's going that on, feels, Rob? That feels right. That feels right. <laughs> That's what I get for getting the double. Uh, do we have anything else that we got to do in the hero phase? We do not. So I guess we go into movement. Let's do it. What'd you do? Well, I retreated Luke of I to make sure that we're just going to hold down that side no matter what happens. Um, and also to reset so that we could start moving around and possibly get rid of the chalice in your turn by being able to see it. Um, 
We then also retreated the Blood Knights. They were just going to grind against little dum-dums anyways, so we're setting them there so that they are ready for the next time they get a chance to come charge them back in. All right. They've got an obligatory unit of green wolves that ran. Uh, those wolves are still eligible to pile in because they're within six of an enemy unit, so they will probably be re-establishing my devil screen <laughs> uh, after this turn. We just shuffled forward skeletons and graveguard. We shifted Beldama back. We shimmied over the heroes, and we moved that unit of wolves over there so that we could start tying up that side of the field so that you can't start reallocating your resources back to the middle. Um, All right, cool. So I'll ideally, show you what that looks like here. Those wolves will be uh, tying up the horrors from the back of the unit after the charge. Cool. So what's next? Uh, we've got a shooting phase. We've only got two CP, so we're not going to waste it. Um, we're going to have those shots focused on... Actually, are you outside of three inches with him now? It might be. Just barely, yeah. You can shoot at him. <clears throat> We could. We will. <laughs> we'll, we'll shoot at him. We're probably going to get two attacks You're again. not going to one rend, right? Uh, one rend. All right. We will... Uh, you can our... see how many shots before you decide. Oh, cool. I've got to decide before. Um, and we've got a three over here and a two under here for five attacks. Yeah, go for it. That building is fun. It just sucks the dice yep. for some reason. It's a there. dice magnet. There you go. It's leaning over. We've got five attacks on fours and fours. Um, we had our Wheaties today. Three will hit. And two at rend one. Two at rend one. So four goes to five. We'll save one. We'll take one. Maybe. We do. And that was impactful. It's, it's still going to be there next turn, I swear. <laughs> right. Uh, that'll bring us to charge o'clock. Um, and for me, the most interesting charge is this unit of wolves on the far side, the, the blue unit. And they're going 10, which is what I really wanted so that they could tie up the horrors from the back. So let's move them real quick. 10. For our next charge, we're going to go with the... We're actually going to go with the Grave Guard down here. And I think they probably do need to get more than a six, which they get as a minimum charge. Um, yeah, they probably need a seven to get in there. Yep. So, yep. And that is a three. We're going to command point reroll that one because they are spicy. And that's into a four, so they are not going anywhere. We're then going to attempt to charge with the skeleton horde. And they're going eight. And they will manage to get in there. You're keeping him out? Oh, absolutely. Right. <laughs> I don't know your plans, is why I'm asking. Make oh, sure yeah. that you're not accidentally getting them in. Yep. So we are definitely keeping him out. Start a combat. Start a combat. We don't have anything that happens in the end of charge phase or at the beginning. Our first activation is going to be these wolves, and they are going to all out attack because I'm not going to have broken dreams from them not doing any hits. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm good. You're just going to basically get in. A few more. And we'll just keep going there. And we kind of want to make sure that we're not piling all the way out of our bubbles again. You stay there. You come in. That means one less of you got in. But we're going to stay fully within our 12 inch bubble so they get a chance to heal. And the wound is on the furthest out person. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
with what alpha for 23 math math attacks mm -hmm. <laughs> 10 15 20 23 no explosions these are on threes and fours Good start. Sure is. Let's see what happens with the fours. And fours. Two, three, five, six. We've got seven hits at no rend. All right. Fives. Still have our plus one save up. All right. Four of them. Nadia, Nadia, please. Yay! Get one of them. We we get only one. No, like I said, <laughs> okay. I saved one. So uh, three will die. I guess we can just pull this way. It doesn't really matter. Just pull like this. Go into the cup. Alrighty, I guess it's my turn, and you have not dragged them in yet, right? I have not. Okay, I'm not real worried about those skeletons. I could pile in to keep those wolves off the objective over here if I wanted to. At least some of them. You'll still get some in. I don't think it matters anyway. Because you've She's got still on there. Num is nine. Yeah, you've got a lot of guys on there. So I think the only thing I can really try and do is maybe whittle away these wolves over here. So we're going to do that while we still have our bonuses. And we will all out attack. And then uh, I'm going to pile in and get my dice ready. And we'll show you what happens. All right, 41 dice. I got 30 rolling here. Picked up an extra five. It's going to be threes and fours. Fives and sixes are going to auto wound. So we'll get to see how this does. Be interesting. Ghouls are hitty. They can be. Don't see a lot of fives here. I need my roll from the other turn. See lots of twos and ones. And we've got no fives. <laughs> Not a single one of them. All right, it's fours. That's what fours do to you. <laughs> well, you, you, you would have thought I'd get a few more. I got, I got ten more to go. You would have thought I had, a, like, you know, maybe one five in there. Normally it's like just all fives and sixes. You don't have anything to actually roll the wound rolls on. Oh, that would have been, would have <laughs> yeah. been fantastic. I would have loved that. Then I'd have to roll less, but got two auto wounds there. A couple of twos and a one. Finally got a couple of fives. I think this is the most complicated roll because a one and a two miss, a three and a four you got to roll again, and a five and a six are good. Hey, that, was a good <laughs> that was a good wound roll there, though. So add another five in. So we got five, ten... 15, 16. 16 saves. These ones got a pip of rend, I imagine. Uh, I think I piled out of it by accident. So, all right. That's stupid on my part. I said to literally take these two models and then they could have been over here. Sure, go ahead. Cool. So, we got the rend. Thanks, Rob. So, we've got a whole bunch of dice and rend one looking for sixes. That's a hit. So we made one reward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half good boys, which will leave us with five good boys. And we have to mark a wound. Your choice, sir. Um, we are going to go next with this unit. We're going to pile. Boom. 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 And boop. <laughs> so three will attack the ghouls. Okay. Uh, none of which are an alpha. We should have left the alpha there. It's fine. We'll leave the alpha there. Use it that pack somewhere. Um, 
and fours and fours. Two at no rend. Fives. Save one. I guess we'll lose this guy. Okay. And your activation. So I think I probably go with the ghouls over here next. Yeah. Question is, which way do I pile? You got a six inch pile, but I can still kind of keep some of them out. So I'm going to show you where all my models are at the end of my choices. All right. So I piled in like so, shifting this way, getting as far away from them as possible. They're still going to get in, but it's going to kind of limit how many attacks I take from them. Obviously, the skeletons will still get to attack. I'm going to have 46 total attacks because these do have feast day. And we're uh, fours and fours, and we're going to be sixes are auto wounding because I don't have enough models for the fives. So this is 30 dice, and then I got to roll another 16. So fours, pull some sixes, and all of these guys. And fours, and then another 16 dice. All right, five, 10, 15, 16. All right, horse. Yeah, some decent auto wounds there. Cool, like that, less dice to roll. I know we're playing a dice rolling game, but mm -hmm. we, I do got, like we got a lot of stuff going on. I do like <laughs> to switch to auto wounds away from mortals. All right, 16, negative one. All right, five. Makes the dice go faster. I think it's easier to control, like, you know, how much damage they do, too, versus the mortal. Yeah. So 16 at rend one. These are six up saves, followed by five up wards, rerolling ones. So we warded three of them, or saved three of them. Same thing. <laughs> Same deal. And then we are going to ward. Hey, there's the five up ward roll. Quite a lot of them. Get, getting close <laughs> to 50% there. Ones. We pull another two out. So yeah, we take look at you. Four. And we're going to go four to out within, of 16. Within 12 of the chalice. Yeah. So we're going to go one, two, three, and we've got another guy up there. Four. They're all outside of 12 of the chalice. Yep. Uh, we're then going to activate with these wolves because they should still be within six. They're within six. Yep. So they're just going to pile in. Ooh. Use our all-out defense here. I haven't used it yet, right? Uh, I don't believe so. Do you have rend on your attacks, actually? Nope. Oh. Uh, the only rend will be on the it's... skeletons, yeah. well, the I'm... whites, and the heroes and the knights. Yeah, because I didn't... Good boys have no rend. Either way. But four of them, because they have an inch reach, will fight over top of the skeletons. Since you, you don't have rend, we'll wait on the command point. Sure. I mean, I am going to attack them with these guys. Who have yeah, them but anyways, so. we're going to wait. We're, <laughs> we're going to sequence it properly. Uh, eight attacks. Fours and fours. Watch out. No uh, rend, one uh -oh. damage. Uh-oh. Oh, man. If only we were exploding. We hit five. And we wound on three. Not bad. Fives. Save one. It was one over average. These are eager good boys. <laughs> two go into the chalice. I guess we'll pull these two. I got nothing, but I have horrors, I guess. Yep. So, and then I've got skeletons. And I don't think you've activated over here yet. Oh, yeah, you're right. I have it. You, you activated there.
Something like that. Double Should check their range like again. Three or four models. Yeah, I think they're two inches now. They are. They're two inches, cool. So, we got one, two, three, four, five. Five of them are getting in. So, that'll be 20 attacks. Plus one for the leader, so 21. And they will have their rend. Mm -hmm. And unmodified wound rolls of six will be damage three. Yep. So, it'll be fours and threes. And we got, what did I say, 21? 5, 10, 15, 20. One. All right. Fours and threes. Um, I have Feast Day. Mm -hmm. he's, he's right here. So this will actually be... Uh, yeah, five dice. No, show five, yeah. All right, so... Knew there was something I was missing. Mm -hmm. Good old fours. Man. Come on. Give me some hits. Not terrible. You don't have too far to go. Not great, but... Sixes. Hey, we got some sixes. And that was a good that was a really good win roll. Alright. So we got three saves at negative one for three damage. Sixes, we save one. So, so that's six. And then you got six saves at negative one for two damage. For another ten. So sixteen damage. Probably got the unit. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six and a half, which will get them. And I now have a unit of five wolves in the grave. And then we will activate with the skeletons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are going to swing. Uh, and the leader. And you is, said they have rend? They get rend one. And the leader is not in there, so it's just seven attacks. Uh, fours and threes, rend one, one damage. Fours. And that is three hits. And threes, two at rend one. Fours. Well, fives, I'm sorry. Uh, same both. There you go. Look at that. We're doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that it? That is it. Got another five point turn. Um, and we lost one, two, three, four, so we cannot fail Battle Shock. Okay. I got uh, not enough to. Oh, fail. did you activate with that? Oh, no, I didn't. Thank you. Yeah, totally forgot. Uh, getting excited for the rest of it. Yeah, no, I activated with them on the first round. I haven't activated with them. Yeah. Now. Right? You haven't used them yet. Yeah, okay. Cool. Just making sure. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. So, that'll be 13 times 2 is 26. 27 with the guy. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27. 4s and 4s, 6s, auto. Uh, a few 6s in there. Pull out these 1s, 2s. Threes. And roll this again. Okay. That's a good wound roll, too. Wow, my wound rolls have been good this turn. Uh, Twelve. Negative one. Six. Twelve. Looking for sixes. Ghouls hit pretty hard. Looking for... They throw a lot of dice. They do. <laughs> Looking for sixes. We take one, two, three, four, and the floater. So five wolves go down. I have a and, wild idea of just playing... And battle shot. Three blocks of 40. They didn't lose any more. So how many do you lose? Five? I lose five. So I'll have five more here. So I'll have ten dice for the chalice. Five. And I rolled a five for battle shock, so no more runaway. Yeah, one unit lost three, so technically, even on six, yeah, I can't fail. So, um, we'll roll the four ups for the chalice. One, two, just two. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. All right, whatever. It doesn't really matter where they go. 
the middle is more important, so we're going to return them to the middle. Okie dokie. Um, anything else for you? That is it. So it's 10 to 3 going into bottom of 2. Yep. All right, top of, or actually top of, bottom of two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do lead into the maelstrom. Should be able to make it happen with this giant mess that's in the middle here. There's, there's much maelstrom. Yeah, lots of lots of <laughs> strumming and mailing to be going around. Uh, I get to use some of my cool abilities now, like uh, the start of the turn for the arch regents here, so I can return some models, which I'm going to do that in a second here. And uh, we'll do the heroic action. Well, we'll do primal dice, so um, I will get one for both of us. And so will I. And then we'll do the other one. And that's a no. So we'll both have two. Um, and then heroic actions. And then I'll do the flesh eater heroic action. I'm going to do it on the arch regent there. So it'll be four dice. This will be on fives. Okay. And going get, strong. we'll go up to six. So go from four to six. So now we can maybe bring something back later on in the game. Uh, um, start, of, start of Luke of Eyes going to attempt to get rid of the chalice. Uh, does a seven get rid of it? It should. I think it's a five. So um, we'll double check, but I'm almost 100% sure. And then it's a for five. heroic action, Veldama will attempt to generate a command point, which she does not. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Chalice is a five. Six, but either way, you're good. <laughs> so we'll flip over to where you can see the dice. If it was more, I'd toss a primal on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So we've got, uh, we'll start off with the prayer here from this guy and see if we can get him up to six noble deeds. Hey, we did it. We got the five up ward prayer. That's going on my uh, big unit of horrors here. Cool. Um, I also get to heal in the hero phase, but I'm going to do that after casting just in case I do something stupid again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so um, also bringing units back, I get to bring three models back. So he's going to make sure that I bring three models back here. And then this guy's going to let me bring three models back to the unit that's in the middle there. Sounds good. So I'll do that after we're done, but just so that everybody knows I did that at the start of the hero phase. Now we're going to move on to uh, good old casting. So let's cast a purple sun. You're in range with all your wizards, right? So All the wizards are in range. We're going to just do it with... Uh... No, though you have one more cast than I have unbind because I got rid of the, uh, the endless spell. Do derange. I don't need derange transformation this turn. Uh, the plus one wound is per is good though. So let's try derange transformation before we do the purple sun. So we'll do that and then, ooh, he's got his cool war scroll spell. So yeah, we're gonna do deranged. Get that on a seven. I'm not gonna throw any at it. We'll attempt to unbind that with Belladama, and she will roll a nine. Okay, so that'll get unbound. I just wanted to double check the casting value. Six. So it would have gone off if you had not done that. So then we're going to try Usheron's War Scroll spell, because why not? I, th I think I can get it. Can I see Luca by? I don't know that I can. That tower's pretty big. Yeah, you could see her probably. Probably out of the 18-inch range. You can range. see her, her midriff through the holes. I just want, <laughs> I, I just want to try it. You're so. good. Glimpse of Delusion. It's an eight. Uh, we will attempt to unbind that with not one of my bonuses. Um, it's a seven. Uh, go ahead. Which, which unit do you want to swing? And do you want to swing her saber? Well, what, what's her attack profile like? She's a foot vampire. Five attacks, threes and threes, rend one, two damage. Or if you want to do her mount, six attacks, fours and fours, no rend one damage. <laughs> um, she's definitely my biggest swinger. She's got the same profile as her, except it's rend two instead of rend one. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that into your wolves there. Sure. So, so it's five attacks. Oh, um, yeah, you, you have to roll it. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Threes and threes, rend two damage too. So that was super cocked. So three will hit, and two will wound. Uh, those will punch straight through. I got a six up ward, and I will lose two good boys. All right. So let's go for um, Horfrost. On an 11, 
Yeah, we'll keep that. All right, we'll attempt to unbind that with our plus one. And we'll start on a six. Do I care about Blizzard? Um, you got an 11, so I need a five. Uh, I need a six on two dice. It's a seven because we're plus one. Yeah. Um, Just to clarify, the delusion, which I forgot to say, is plus one to run in shark. Okay. Uh, we will toss a primal at it. And there's a five, and then the, the other primal will stop it. All right. No Horfrost. No Horfrost. Out of primals. All right. So let's go my bonus. here, and we'll go purple sun. Sure. On an eight. I goes. will uh, throw a primal at that since I don't have any ones in there. So, there you go. Out of 12, you got it. All right. So, purple sun will come out. We'll set it up in a little bit here. It's going to be right there for this very second. Mm -hmm. and then we're going to try a blizzard because we can. Okay. A natural 12. And you can't stop that, right? You don't have any bonuses left? Um, I cannot stop it, no. All right. So, we will blizzard. Um... What do we want to blizzard? We want to blizzard wolves? We can't. Can we blizzard grave guard? Is that over your grave guard? Yep. Hmm. Everything except Belladama on the point is in range. If we blow up the skeletons, though, then we can actually do some charging. So let's try and blow up the skeletons. So it's 46. So 10, 14. 14's a good roll. We got a five up ward, re rolling ones. 10, 14. So, saved you guys so far. And then re rolling the ones. So we take two, four, six, seven dead skeletons. One, Not as many as I was hoping. Two, but we're three, getting there. Four, five, and six. Can you purposely pull out of coherency? I can't end a move out of coherency. Okay. So. They'll go have to, a chance uh, to pile mystic, in. mystic Shield is my last spell. Or more realistically, they'll die. <laughs> we'll get it on a three, so I'm not going to bother throwing because I have one there. I had a primal left, but we're just going to let Mystic Shield go. Okay, we're going to do some healing now. These guys are all on one wound, so they're just going to auto heal those up. I don't need to roll the dice for it. And then uh, he got his prayer. He cast one spell. This dude's already at six, so the only thing we have left is Gourmet. So let's take a look at Gourmain. I gotta look and read this guy again because he's got a lot of different options. He seems pretty good. Um, let's see. One enemy unit and within three of an aberrant. That can't be done. That slayed an aberrant, so that, that can't be done. One unit that's visible and then I can run and charge or on a three, add one to wound rolls. So. I don't think running and charging is going to do anything for me, so we'll just do the add one to wood rolls. So, on a three. We did it. And that's going to go on to, uh, I guess, the Grave Guard. Okay. So, any attacks into the Grave Guard, I'll be plus one to wound. So, I believe I've done everything except for the throne, which I can't use because there's nobody in it. Purple fun. And then, of course, deploying that thing. So, we'll show you where the purple fun has ended up at the end of... Uh, movement here um yeah Alrighty. so some things happened we pushed you did a big six inch redeploy yep the key there is i created a nice two inch bubble between my skeletons and my grave guard and then another two inch bubble between my grave guard and my foot heroes to try to to keep them alive <laughs> yep obviously the purple sun is just being annoying I don't know if it's being annoying. I feel like I'm getting a nice tan. 
<laughs> we uh, did not roll any ones, so nothing ha fa fancy happened there. I did return three models there and there from my starter hero phase. And then I used one point here to return two more models. So mm -hmm. now that unit is back to its full 20. So that's cool. And other than that, we just kind of pushed forward with the heroes, and we're going to see what happens here. So uh, nothing to shoot at. I never did check to see if Usheron shoots, but I'd nah, be wildly <laughs> surprised if he did. And he does not. So we're good there. We are going into the charge phase. So let's start with the horrors. We have a plus one to this. There you go. So hopefully we can get a big charge. Six, seven. Seven will be big enough. So... They're going to be able to finish their charge over here somewhere. I'm going to roll Usheron. He doesn't really need to roll, but he just needs a three, mm -hmm. which he'll auto get. So he'll get an eight. So there's an eight for Usheron and a seven for the horrors. I'm going to move those horrors and then see if I want to charge anything else. All right. We charged with Usheron's giant base and the giant bases of all these horrors who can be a little bit closer there. You, the, you got your tight two ranks. You're good. Yeah. There's a... No way for I need to charge anything else. So everything else is going to be hanging back. Maybe Torgelius will shoot something off. We'll End see. of your movement phase before we totally forget. We do get five wolves back. And they're just going to be over here. Okay. <laughs> um, need to make sure I stayed out of 12 here with this guy, which I did not. So I'm going to move this guy over here instead because I totally forgot that blizzard. So I'm going to do the same thing you did with Belladon earlier. Yep. <laughs> You're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so, yeah. These guys blizzard are is a thing. way over here outside of any reasonable charge range. <laughs> okay, so now we have uh, Monstrous Rampage. I'm just going to stomp. And four, two, five. You're rolling ones. We lose one dum dum. We will lose, we'll pull the banner. Okay. Uh, start of the combat phase, skeletons try to stand back up. I and mean, I've got this over here to keep track of how many of that. So we've lost seven this turn. We had four from last turn, so we've got 11 dice. Looking for four ups to bring back skeletons. And then I got to do Ushran's ability. Yep. And we will get three. Six. Look at that. We get seven guys back. Wow. The, the same number who have died this round. So we'll bring back both bands. So that was a waste of a blizzard. I didn't know they did that. So what happens when you don't play against armies very often. I apologize. Oh, you don't apologize for anything. I didn't know they did it. Should have blizzarded the grave guard. It's, it's called learning, Rob. Actually, you guys want to choppy choppy over here. Okay, so you're going to be minus one bravery for everything within three permanently. So yep. they all got on nine, I assume? Yeah. Because you're deaf. And that should be. Did you get the graveyard in? Probably. They're in, yeah. Oh, and the, then you get to roll for fight last for all of them. Yes, so that's what we're going to do next. So yep. we're, we're going to start off with the graveyard. So. Sure. They're fine. I think that's no, because it's a seven. You need to beat it. Is it beat it or equal? No. If you roll a nine, we can check it. I did. That was for the skeletons, and then the wolves. Hey! They, the wolves are fight last, that's for sure. Fight last for the wolves. <laughs> we know that one's a fact. Yep. Okie dokie. Um, yeah. Although, I can technically pull them out of fight last if you allow me to activate with a hero because they can chain activate a unit after themselves. None of them are currently in combat, though. Yeah, none of your heroes well, are in combat. Yeah, none of them are currently in combat. Yeah, because you've maintained your bubble thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, hmm, I gotta think about where I wanna start and how I wanna do this. Tempted to go with Usharan into the skeletons first, but then that leaves the Graveguard to attack me. Do they do double fight or anything? No, but they fuck shit up. How many attacks are there? Two attacks a model. Fours and threes, red, one, two damage. Mortals in addition on six is the wound. Yeah, I've got the minus or the five up ward on them right now. I'll probably lift between one and four bases if I really spike, but probably closer to two or three. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I don't know that I care because, oh, I mean, I'm going to think about this for a second. Sure. 
I don't think there's an obvious ideal solution to this one. No, there's no obvious yeah. ideal, but I'm just going to go with the math. And I, I was mm -hmm. just doing some math and looking at pylons for like everyone that's listening. Um, basically, if I get Usheron to go first, I'm going to get Feast Day on him, because right now they're out of range of Feast Day, mm -hmm. which means that then they'll have it. So even if I lose three or four, I'm either getting the same amount of attacks into the graveyard or more attacks into the graveyard. The only thing I didn't think of is like you piling in around this way and then blocking how many get forward. That's absolutely what I was thinking about. So <laughs> assuming I can keep one or two guys here to pin you from piling forward too. Yeah, no, we're gonna go with the uh, probably we're gonna go with the horrors. <laughs> we're gonna go with the horrors first. So I'll pile them in and then show you how those attacks go. All right. Oh, and I'm plus one to wound against the grave guard. There you go. So it's going to be threes and twos. So it's going to be spicy. Decided to go that way. We're going eight dudes into the graveyard because of the two-inch reach. This guy in the back is going to be going into the skeletons. We're going to roll him first. I am all out attacking, so I'm down to one command point. So it's going to be threes and twos. And we're going to see how much uh, we can push through with this uh, big old negative two run from the purple sun. It's with all. Sixes will turn into three damage, but I'm actually be four damage because I'm plus one damage from the charge because I'm a hollow one. Mm -hmm. So we will have four into the skeletons at negative two. That will just all pass. It'll be three damage each. So 12. You did it all with one model? <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are fives, you're rolling ones. It doesn't seem to matter because look at your five. Yeah, no, five free rolling ones is a look totally... At your, look, at, look at your five. Totally okay profile. <laughs> and I'll, I'll pull those after I see where all the damage is spreading around, but you've killed five. All right, so this is 30 dice. It's a pretty dang good roll. Yeah, that's a very good roll. Well, we like to see that. And then uh, I got three more here for the hit roll. All right, lose a couple there. And then we got two's to wound. And sixes will turn into four damage. Okay, well that, there you go, it's starting even out. Oh, but that's twos, so I just gotta pull the ones. All right, I'm used to not, I'm like used to the threes. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a couple of sixes in there. Yeah, five, 10, 13 at 3 damage, so and 39. Then 5 <laughs> plus 3 is 8, so 32 damage. So 39 plus 32 is just a cool 63... 39 plus 32? 71? 71. 71. Yeah, 71 damage. I think I can live. Wow, they are, <laughs> they are nuts. They are nuts when you buff them up. All right, I get why people play blocks of nine. <laughs> 20. Let's get to about half of these dice. You got a five aboard on them, too? I do. We're rolling ones. <laughs> 25. 30. I think, we can get, I think we can get through it with 71 damage. You think? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? We'll start with 30. We'll go through these twice and add one in if we need to. You got 20 of them or 30? Here's 30 dice. So how many's in the unit? 20? 20. Okay. So, you're safe, you're safe. And then we roll ones. So we're down five. 10, 15, 16. We got four left. We could do it. Let's bring in one more dice for accuracy. You were close to, <laughs> close to 50% on your fives with those re-rolling ones. Uh, it gets there. Because the fives up there are a third, and then one out of six, you get a third of those back. So it's getting up there. And then one, two, three... Four, that's the rest of the unit. <laughs> we did it. Hey, we did you it. You got there. I now have 10 Grave Guard in the grave guarding it. It's your go, sir. We are then going to put 
all of the skeletons into Usharan. They have a uh, red, I assume? Uh, they'll have red one. We got four plus five, nine. So we'll have 11 in yeah. there. Shoot. You're good. I'm just trying to get him to be flat. So it's just going to be 12 attacks. Your unit's going to be split here at the end of combat because of the purple sun. Oh, I thought that the sun had a gap in there. Not enough. You had a, you had him up on the the base of the purple sun. He wouldn't have been able to land then because I didn't move those models around at all yet. Well, you had the gap that you created. I put the purple sun into that gap where you pulled a model. That way you'd be forced to be split one way or the other. Remember? I don't recall you putting that, but okay. Yeah, because you you're, you're, you're going to blow up at least five of them anyways. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I blizzarded at the beginning of the turn, and then I moved the purple sun after that. Yeah. I, I just didn't catch that you put it in the gap. I just thought you put it into the hole between oh, the units. I did put it in yeah. all of them, but I also put it into the gap of the skeleton. You're good. So we've got 12 attacks, 4s and 3s, effective Ren 2 with the sun. And... 3s. Uh, that is 2 at Ren 2, effectively. Uh, so 4 goes to 6. <gasps> oh, 1 each. 5s. Save 1. Alright. Take, take a damage, not a model. Okie dokie. Um, I think we go with these uh, ghouls that I got back to a full 20 man unit into the wolves who are fighting last because we don't have to worry about that. I could go over here, but I really want my bonus into these wolves, and this is more important for holding this turn because I'm not going to hold that one. So we're just going to file in like so, try and get as many models into the wolves as I can. Actually, scoops this way a little bit. So, try and get as many in there as we can. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're going to have one, two, three into the skeletons and then the other 17 into the wolves and uh, these guys will have feast day so it will be three attacks a piece so that's uh 34 plus the leader into the wolves so we've got a convenient 30 right here mm -hmm. so it'll be fours and fours fives and six is a lot of wound Push them that way because there seems to be a lot of dice that way that are twos and threes. Going that way. And then we've got auto wounding. Okay. And I roll five more dice after this. So those are more wounds. One auto wound. That's it to add. So six, twelve. So these are effective red two, so they'll punch through. And then I've got the three dudes to go into this. Looking for a five up ward. One, two, three, four, five boys. And then the skeleton attacks. It's a pretty good rule. One more. So five total into the skeletons that also affect will be run to. And fives re-rolling ones. Take three. And we'll go. You weren't kidding when you said those things are really hard to kill. Yep. All right. We are going to activate next with the wolves over here. They're just going to go like this. Boom. I think we use our command point. Well, I don't know how many I'm going to lose. I need yeah, to worry you about just three. Go there you come over here. It's the end of the round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it's uh, all up defense there. With two alphas, that'll be 18 attacks. 
I'm not sure if all out defense or inspiring presence is better in this scenario, but we're going to do all out defense. 15, 18. These are fours and fours. And they rolled good so far. Question mark? They are good boys? Question mark? <laughs> I, I think they were a little over eager. Six. But right. they went a little over average. Fives. I wish I rolled fives like you, but that's okay. One each. Yep. I accidentally rolled six dice there, but we missed them all anyway, so. Fives. Or five, six. No, it was six dice anyways, so. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, yeah. I did it right. All right, cool. <laughs> I, I maybe said five out of that. I don't know. It is late. Sometimes my brain doesn't connect to my, my mouth. My, my, my brain is also <laughs> connecting right now, so. Yeah, we're, we're, we're there together. Okay. We got the big man. So, big man doesn't really get to go anywhere. <clears throat> so, he's just going to go into those skeletons. Can he do eight damage? I, I don't know. I've never attacked with him. We're going to find out, though. Usually. Usually he does eight damage. <laughs> well, we got a couple of different profiles here. We got also Feast Day because of that guy yep. giving it to him. So, be four attacks on his main big one. So, this will be threes and twos. My favorite is twos. All right. We get... Three of them. So three plus D3 each. Wow. It's like a truck. So five, ten, um, three plus D3? Yeah. Five, ten, fourteen so far? Nine, ten, fourteen. Then I got eleven dice here. This will also be threes and threes. And these are two damage apiece. You got there. You did nine. I did it? Yep. All right, cool. Yay. Wasted all those other dice. And now we have ten skeletons in the grave. Look out. And then, of course, he will get all his noble deeds. So noble. And then... We shall... You are with it nine. And can we? we just can't. Although, yeah. Or um, so one, two, three, four for eight attacks on fours and fours, a uh, three at no rend. Save one. Lose two dudes. All right. And that will bring us to Battle Shock. I'm good. Um, I lost four there, so if I roll a six, I'm still good. I'll spend the one on them because they could potentially lose one more. And it's the end of the round. Yep. But I believe you've got this one. I, I would say so. Yep. And you've got your one, two more. Yep. So it'll be 10 to 8. I also got my lead into the maelstrom. Thankfully, Ooh. those wolves did not die. Ooh, I could have pulled them out. Oh, well. Yep. So, here we go. Big roll-off. Eh, it'll be okay. A one. A four. All right, go for it. Yeah, I think I got a W back. I don't know why I wouldn't. I'm going to think about it, but you're most likely going <laughs> to see me doubling him. Taking the double. Uh, uh, 
feel like I've been in this spot before. <laughs> <laughs> the shoe is on the other foot. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what did the retreat to charge to? It's probably the best time in the game to do it. It's mm -hmm. not available all that often anyway. So we're doing that. I already brought models back while we were off camera just to make things go a little quicker here. So I used the two aberrants to do that. That one over there and this one over here. So that guy, that unit's back up to 20. That one's close to 20, not quite there yet. Um, don't know that it will be, but hey. Uh, let's do Primal Dice. Yes. And yes. And Taurian Locusts, or Acolytes, or whatever it's called. Yes. So I will have three, you will have two. Yep. And then uh, heroic action. Um, suppose we could try and top up this guy. He's got three in range. Just get like all the noble deeds that I can. Um, yeah, so fives. We get one. What's your heroic action, sir? Well, before I do a heroic action, we're going to use Luke of I to try and get rid of that purple fun. All right. And we'll start with a six. And we'll make it a nine. All right. So we're down to one primal. Purple fun is gone. And then for our heroic <laughs> action, we will find a stower Beldama. Okay. I have to choose a delusion. The delusion is probably going to be plus one to save. Uh, pretty dang sure that's what I would do. So yeah, we'll do the uh, plus one to save thing. Because there's no other one that makes sense to start. Sure. So um, from there, we get to go on to doing some dice rolls. And I'm gonna start with the prayer from my little guy here. And I don't think anything's fully within 12. No, no, so I can put it on a hero. So either way we want the noble deed. And we will get it. So noble. So he will get up to six again. And then we're gonna put that on, oh, I don't know, let's move it to this guy here, because he's probably charged. So he will have a five aboard now. And then we got to do some spell casting. Let's start with Usharan, and we will use his. Uh... I don't need Durange transformation, but I, I guess the plus one wound is always good. So let's do it. On a four, we'll not do it. We'll do his War Scroll spell. On a seven. Um, it's cool, but like if you want to unbind it, go ahead. I'm not throwing dice at that. Uh, we'll try with one of my guys who does not have a bonus. Um, that is a six. Go ahead. Who, who's hitting who? Um, I guess what's does it? I assume it uses the weapon range of yep, your weapon. It does. Okay. So if it's using the weapon range, what do you have any three inches on uh, Belladama? No, Belladama is just one inch. One inch attacks. Okay. So, let's uh, do the wolves again, I suppose, with Lukavai. All right, so five attacks, threes and threes. Two will hit. Two at red two for four damage. And they will take all four. That'll be one. And I'll leave you there. One. And... All right, we're going to try and cast a blizzard here. Two. Five with a one in there. I was about to say, are you sure you want to cast blizzard? Oh, boy. Because what's your battle tactic again? I know what a battle tactic is. <laughs> I know what it is. I was thinking that somebody that something else was in range, but... Should be only the wolves. Uh, yeah, Belladama's out of... Well, no, she's not out of range. Did you move him up? Yeah, I moved him up uh, last okay. turn. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Either way, though, I'm, I'm not going to roll for that after what I did the first turn. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not that important. <laughs> you, you're probably going to kill the heroes already. <laughs> probably. So, moving on from there, let's oh, yeah. do... Oh, for going second, I'm going to yeah, give go the bonus command point to Belladama. All right, cool. So, um, I guess... Mystic Shield from the same guy. On a nine. Um, it's not that important, so I'll save my dice. So you want to go ahead and try and roll? What spells you got left? I have Hoarfrost. And then I have 
arcing bolt, obviously. All right, we will use. Um, I, have have the, the, I have the chalice. So you just got three spells left. I'll use one of my plus well, ones. I have two on cats, but those are the three options. I'll use one of my plus ones. Um, that is a nine. Would you get it on? A nine. Um, you can have the mystic shield. Okay. We will uh, throw that on Ushron. So Ushron will be shielded. And then uh, we're going to go try the chalice. We'll get it on a seven. We will throw a dice at this. Let's throw one more. Because that was pretty low. And we'll stop there. And Super Dama will start on a 10. Well, I have a uh, 10. Um, don't care about the chalice. Who's casting it? Could be a battle tactic. Um, well, we'll throw the primal at just to stop it, just in case. All right, both of us out of primals. I have one, because I had three. Oh, okay. So we'll go back to Horfrost. Uh, four, so we're just going to leave it, and we will fail. And then we got Gourmain. Um, hmm. Well, I got an Aberrant within three, so that does something. Let's see what it means. You can be plus one attack. Uh, three up, add one to hit rolls for attacks made by Flesh Eater Quartz that target that enemy unit. That doesn't seem like something that's worth it. <laughs> I don't know. It's ten <laughs> wounds. <laughs> I think plus one to wound is probably better. But what do I want a plus one to wound against? I almost kind of just want to choose the Blood Knights because you have to send them in later. And I'm probably killing any of those heroes I attack anyway. The only person I expect to maybe live is her. Maybe. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> that was my other thought. Is like It's either Belladama or it's the Blood Knights. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Blood Knights don't do that much damage. They can. I don't know. I wouldn't expect them to do more than 15 on the charge. Yeah. If they're not on the charge closer but to let's like try 5 and, to 10. We're going to try and off the three heroes, and then that'll just leave us with Blood Knights and Lukavai and these unit, this unit of wolves and whatever sure. we bring back. So um, we'll plus one to wound against her. And we will. So plus one to wound against Belladonna. Sure. All right. That is it for my long hero phase, other than adding D3 Noble Deeds to Gourmet. So I'll get two, because he's in the throne. Put it right next to the throne there. And then he did not successfully cast any spells. Sad. Sad, sad, <laughs> sad man. <laughs> yeah, that, that one just does not want to have Noble Deeds. So let me figure out how I'm going to move, and we'll show you what I did. Camera or off Yeah, yeah, do it on camera. Good to go. All right, you've moved. Let's see if something su surprising comes out. Nope, not right now. So these guys retreated here. These guys retreated here, just outside of three, kept a few models on the objective. After retreating here, this guy shifted over, just trying to stay a little bit farther away from them, and then he's going to make his charge there, hopefully. Did not move the horrors. We're going to try and make a three-inch charge into them. They moved up just as reinsurance to make sure that I have another option for a three inch charge in case I decide to not roll very good. So going from that to actually doing the rolling for charging, let's go and start with the uh, horrors. They're the ones that I really want to get a big charge with. So let's see what happens. Seven. So that'll get them in. I'm gonna roll this aberrant here and a four. You so made it. <clears throat> that'll put him in. Um, I don't know that I care about those wolves, but we're just going to try and make sure we get as rid of much stuff as we can this turn. So let's charge those ghouls with a five. All right. And then we'll be back after I finish those charges. All righty. We've done the, we've done the uh, charging. So now we got to pile in and all that, which I could have, I guess, done that before turning the camera on. <laughs> but we're going to pile in this unit of horrors here. We're definitely starting with them. So the tricky part with this unit of nine is just maintaining coherency while we also follow the piling in rules. So like this guy is not going to be able to go too far. And he's going to have to stay right there. 
for reason one inch at that and then these guys are going to be able to go here and then we've got the same bubbles to be able to maintain it and get all of our attacks in so we're, we're probably maybe not i don't know they hit so hard they maybe they will kill belladama too but we're basically going to have the ability to go with three guys into belladama and then we're going to put how many wounds is the necromancer five or six and then how many wounds is that guy six okay so we got three into each We'll just make it easy. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> Belladon is going to use her free command point to all that defense herself. Give her plus two. Uh, we've got monstrous rampages. And so we'll monstrous rampage into your guys there. Um, stomp. Two mortal ones. Five up forward. We take one. Start of the combat phase. They get another minus one to their bravery. So another bravery eight. Yep. And then we'll do the 2d6 check. And we get it. So wolves will be fight last again. At least until Belladama activates, if she activates. Right. <laughs> so right now we're going to all out attack. The three that are going to Belladama will be plus one to wound. The rest will not. So we will have the plus one damage from being on the charge. And then, yeah. of course, the sixes. So the leader guy is right here. He's the one going into Belladama. So that will be a total of 13 attacks into Belladama. Sure. These will be threes and twos into her. Lose a few there. And then see if we can get some sixes on this roll. At least one. Got one six. Drop one. So you have one six up save, negative one. And then you've got six saves at negative one at three damage and one at four. All right, so the four damage one, we're four up with plus two, so we're saving on threes. So we're good on that. And then we've got six looking for one will sneak through. And these are the three damage ones. Nice roll, dude. Thank you. And we have a three up bodyguard onto wolves. Um, so we will put two wounds onto the wolves. And we will have one wolf on, or one wolf, one wound on Belladama. Okay. Then I've got 12 attacks into the two little guys. And these will be threes and threes. So we'll start with uh, Torgelius. Threes. And threes. Oh man. Not looking good so far. Uh, one save at negative one with four damage, and then That's the others. Oh, so... He's dead. All right. He's dead. As long as he did more than seven damage. Yes. <laughs> Way more than seven. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Threes. And threes. Oh, man. Two at negative one and one at negative one. Pretty sure he's a six up on his Ten damage. Total. Noting. You are a six plus save, six wounds. So you need to score five of these. Just a, a cool Yahtzee on ten dice. <laughs> he's dead and then we will where do you want to go Bill Bill will just chill where she's at She's got five attacks with her saber. These are on threes and twos because of finest hour. That is four at rend one, two damage into the horse. So they will be saving on fives because they're plus one because of the illusion. Sure. It doesn't matter. Damage? Uh, two each. 
So eight. Seven wolves. Four. Seven go through. And threes. And then two at no run. One Two and no run, so they'll be saving those on fours. Save them both. And so that's... seven total, so we will lose one dude and then have three wounds on the other. That is our activation. We heal because of the hunger. Okay. So, got Ushra. Did I do the extra attacks from the feast day? I don't think I did on the horrors. That's okay. Maybe it's 13 into Bell. Yeah, so I should have had... So throw another three attacks at it. I should have had that, yeah. Which might actually make you not able to do that. Uh, just one goes through. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We save. Because if I got two more wounds, I would have pulled you out yeah. of three. Yeah, but I had to make sure that... Yep. We did it right. So, okay, let's do, we'll do the 10 attacks first, which is actually 11 with Feast Day. Does Feast Day stack from different heroes? I don't think it does, right? No, just, okay. Almost all abilities are true false. Even though sometimes yeah. we interpret them as stacked. Three. I know you've played against this a lot more than I've actually played it. <laughs> yeah, it's gotten pretty popular locally. <laughs> all right, so there's six at negative... Uh, one, I believe. I get a save. Uh, we'll check it. Uh, yeah, negative one. Six up save. Hey, we saved one. Two damage each. And that's five. Ten. Like five up wards. So one, two, three. So we got one wolf left. All right, threes and twos. Two of them at negative two. Uh, that'll just punch through. So... That's eight. Yeah. And they're dead. We have another unit of five wolves in the grave. we now got 25 models hanging out on the sideboard. Um, I'll choose not to pile in with my aberrant there. We're going to play over here. When we get to that point. I totally forgot about them. I should have attacked with them first. I, I should have attacked with them before Valdama, too. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. But totally forgot they were there. We both did, so no big deal. Just going to kill one model. <laughs> they can't give themselves commands. They do not technically have an alpha. Uh, three. We'll just switch that model out so it doesn't get confused. Save one. Hey, we did something. All right. I want to keep as many on the objective as I can while getting as many attacks in as I can. For the ones that aren't on the objective, we're just going to leave them that way. Because they can't back up. And these three will be out. So I lost two out of eight. Well, let me just count them. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, so it'll be twenty-four. I, I assume that the twenty-four inch bubble from this is out of range. Holy crap, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so 36, is a big bubble. 36 attacks. All right, let's be fours and fours. And looking back, I should have put uh, Gourmet's thing on the Blood Knights like I originally planned. I didn't uh, think about Finest Hour and the fact that the Purple Sun is gone. So that was my mistake. A little light on the sixes there. A little light on everything there. All right, I've had some spikes throughout the game, so. Get one more four in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. 
Nine. These are. I'm gonna assume that these are not in rend range. <laughs> yeah, I would say they're not. That's pretty far. Uh, these are five ups. Yeah. One. They were on the edge of the twenty-four. One, two, three, four. We got one boy left. <laughs> All right. Um. And they cannot fail battle shock over there. Cores are good. Um, yeah. So we're we're doing stuff. We're doing stuff. You got your five point turn. Yep, I figured uh, two guaranteed turns of five points was worth it, and also kind of delete that blizzard nonsense. <laughs> we'll lead three points this turn. Um, two of these boys run away due to coherency uh, because you killed two with her. And I used, didn't use the redeploy after all. Yeah. Um, and yeah. All right, let's go to the bottom of three. So how'd you do? Well, we we went over that. Oh, we went I scored. Over. Yeah. Okay, you scored. You scored all your points. Scored the points. I'm not having as many models on the table. Well, you got you got some over there thing. though. Um, we'll see what happens. I got a couple of different choices that I can pursue for my battle tactic. I can either try to heal a wound on my general. I can retreat to and charge to. And depending on this rally roll that I'm about to attempt right here, I might be able to just return six models to a summonable unit. There you go. Um, so I did go up one CP. I'm going to spend it immediately to have this unit of wolves rally. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 14 dice. That is five. So you're going to two command points? Uh, three, because I go up for one for having a general still. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Fourteen. Then we're going to get two back automatically from our thing. So if we get four sixes here, we don't. We get two sixes. So Rally will return two models. And then being only within 12, we'll return three. And then being wholly within range of a gravesite, we'll return one more. Nice. We'll return four boys over here. Um, that guy is too far away from a hero to benefit from the same effect. Um, primal dice? Primal dice. That's cocked. Nope. Yes. So I have two right now, and then I still have my acoits. Yep. So I'll be up to three. Um, and I do believe that I shall be retreating to and charging to this round. Heroic action? For my heroic action, I am going to add D3 good boys to this unit. All right. That dice is lost. <laughs> two, two good boys dramatically knock you a bunch of boom in the process. I think I might use the flesh eater one to do make to move a hero. Yeah, but you got to roll a three up to do it. So I'm going to do it because I've never used it. So might as well Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. On, whoa, not that. On a three. Yeah, we're going to move d6. So I'm going to try and move Usheron. Five. Can I move into combat? Is it like corn? It is not. You are correct. So we're just gonna try and clog up the gap here. Make a life hard for these blood knights. Moving closer to the lady, obviously not within combat but also just making life difficult for you. A big base comes in handy. Spellcasting. We've got three spells. Um, the first spell that we will attempt with Belladama is Vile Transference. All right. It does not go off on a five. And we are 
You've got three primals or two primals? I have three. We're not going to bother with it. Um, <laughs> we're going <laughs> to flip over to Luke of I, who is going to attempt to cast nothing just yet. We're going to attempt to cast Exploding Sixes off of Beldam. That will start on a 7, and we'll add our Primal to make it a 13. Let's see what happens. An 8. What's your last spell? Uh, Mystic Shield, Arcane Bolt. Um, 6 inch Do pylon. a Mortal Wound to 3 or 6 people, and 6 inch Pylon. Right, let's try and get rid of the Exploding Sixes. 11 plus 14. 14. You got it. Um, and then we're going to do Mystic Shield on an 8. It's your last spell. It oh, doesn't it. matter. I got a 9. Um, that is that. We're going to go into movement. Soul work dice. End of the movement phase. You get to do stuff. At a 3 up, I'm going to hold two objectives this turn. <laughs> hey, that's a big deal. Hey, we get to hold a, two objectives. So we're just gonna do oh, you're outside of three because it's your turn. Three. So we're just gonna be right here. See, and that's a mistake on my part for those that are watching because I could have easily held ten guys onto the objective, but I didn't. Yeah, you just piled a couple off. So that would have been a a two point swing. Would which, would have made a, which would have made a tie ball game. You're still in a very good spot. Yeah. Uh, shooting. I don't have a shooting attack anymore. Sad face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Charges. Blood Knights. Let's get a big charge. We would like to wrap all the way around here if possible. Five. Not as big as it could be. Um, we're going to re-roll it. But we're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> That's a two. Oh so boy. They're gonna chill. Um we're now going to have Luca Vi. And she's gonna go eight. And since she can fly, she is going to be able to do this. Here. So that is one successful charge. Wolves. Not not double ones. Hey! Not double ones! <laughs> you, you did it. They are going to end of the charge phase. End of the charge phase. Monstrous actions. Luke of I gets to do two. She will roar, then stomp the horrors. So roar first. Unsuccessful. Stomp. Successful. How many, wounds, how many wounds do they have to be to be able to stomp them? Um, you have to be not a monster. Oh, okay. So it still works. Uh, you'd think I'd know these things by now. All right. We'll take three. So one. Yep. And then we will activate with Lukavi first. I guess we'll do the guy in the back. And she will swing with her regular stuff. We're going to all at the fence when she gets attacked back. Um, am I roared? You are not roared. All at the fence. All right. We got five attacks with the saber on threes and threes. Three will hit. I want it run two. So I'm plus two to save, so I'll be fives again. Sure. That is a five under that tower. All right, we've got three attacks with the gory talons on twos and threes. And threes. A two at run two, damage three. Save one of those. So it's three damage. Okay. D6 tails for six. Hey. On fours and fours, rend one one damage. 
That will hit on five of them. And wound on two. Said run one, so yep. force. Say one. So one more damage. Wow, we'll save two of those. That's some hot rolls. We will heal two, and we've got one wound still on you. And it is your activation. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing in combat, so. We will not bring the knights in. It will. All that defense. Oh, that's a good boy. That is still on the table. Yep. Hiding by that. <laughs> um, if we bring the knights in, though, you won't get your charge yeah, bonus. Damage. Yeah, so we will bring the knights in at 2.9 inches right there. Yeah. And then we'll just... I'm down to six, so coherency isn't as big of a deal. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Their hands are catching each other. Uh, this guy goes base to base there. He'll be able to reach across. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have all of them in. So this will be six of them. We won't get the bonus damage or anything because I am not charging. <clears throat> we do have feast day though. So it'll be five attacks a piece. So this will be 30 attacks plus one for the leader. I happen to have 30 dice right here. Mm -hmm. So this will be fours and threes. Let's see here. Doesn't look like it's a bad roll. Looks like a pretty good one. Yeah, I'll take that. Should end up doing about ten, probably. One more. No. All right, and then sixes do stuff. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna have all the sixes here. Two sixes. Oh, that's a three. All right, so we got. Eight, nine, and then two at three damage. Because we reduce your den by one, and we are all defenses are all on twos. So the big boys first. We save them both. And then the slightly smaller one. One will sneak through for two damage. Six up ward. We take two. We get three allocated. Which is pretty tough. He can be. You get the, the punch that if you just sneak a couple through, <laughs> that's all it takes. Um, and you were so kind as to bring us in that we will put our fingers where this terrain piece is, tilt it back slightly, and we'll get one model in. And we'll spin him around so he's not stuck on this as bad. You're good, dude. There's one. There's one in. One in, and then over here. Two. Round. Over. And then we will just have the one knight, which is the leader. So we've got four attacks from the lance on threes and threes. We'll hold on to it just in case something terrible happens. Um, so threes and threes, Ren two, one damage. Uh, two will hit. Two at Ren two. So fives. Wow, save them both. And then save rolls are three from the fire right on now. Fours. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> um and then you should have done them first but you go ahead you got that those activations no you can go activate them first that doesn't make any difference you would have done that if you were paying attention it, it doesn't make a difference either way um are they at 20 i don't think so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen yeah go ahead activate them i messed up you got it <laughs> all right Yes, and that's why we save that CP, just in case we do something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll all attack here. Since I have a CP. And you're most likely not uh, doing anything significant after watching all those other rolls. So 13 will be in, plus one for the leader. Um, they'll be in the 24-inch feast day, so mm -hmm. it'll be three attacks apiece. Um, the heck is that math? 
not mathing right now. Just so you guys that are watching know, it's after midnight. We're we're playing a late one now. So <laughs> yeah, for me too. All right, so it's gonna be threes and fours, fives and sixes. Will not auto wound, just sixes. Um, I dropped a die. There we go. All right, we're getting there. We're doing stuff. That's a good roll. No, your sixes auto wound. They do. Thank you. It's deceptive how impactful those auto wounds are. Yeah. It's hard to figure out the math. I'm not a math wizard. I'm sure there's on, people I, on the internet. Third of your attacks are auto wounded. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I just like I can do the easy math like quick. That just kinda like throws it off for me. It's easier on fives than it is on sixes. Yeah. What the fuck is one six? <laughs> right. Uh fifteen. Fifteen. Uh these probably have red now. Yes, they do. For sure. For sure. Looking for sixes followed by sixes. No wards. One, two. See, we've evened it out. Three, four, five, six. It's basically the ones you brought back. Yep. Uh, one, two. Now we leave those six there. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, look at that. Six. Um, and we are still within three, which is all that we care about with at least one model. Not with a pile one model within three. You're good. Um, and then we'll use our last CP to inspiring presence. Okay. And we will somehow have scored five. You did. From my mistake over there with one model. So let's uh, do the big old roll off. I guess you use a big dice this time. I got little a little dice haven't been doing it for me. I got a four. Bring the power. Nope, no. Power does not bring it. All right. Well, I think uh, probably maintain turn, turn order here. Sure. And let's see what we can do for a battle tactic. We're going to intimidate the invaders. Yeah, we're going to intimidate. That's the only thing that makes sense. It's very intimidating. So we're going to do that. And then uh, magic dice. That is a four. So we'll both get one. Uh, I get a, a two. So no. All right. And on a three. No. So we both have one. Yeah. Uh, I will have two command points. Obviously, you have three. What's your thing? Um, I am going to give the bonus CP to Lukabai for going second, and it's going to be her finest hour. All right. And then for me, what am I going to do for a heroic action? Suppose I can try and uh, get some points on this guy. So we'll roll fives. Two. Hey. Up to four. All right. And then we've got to do the rest of the hero phase. So we'll show you some dice here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the prayer first off of the, the one dude. So let us pray. We have done it. We rolled a five. So we will have a five up board on these guys this turn. They are the unit that's at full strength at 20. And then we're going to do some casting. So let's start with uh, the good old purple sun coming from my blizzard guy. That's a no, unless I throw die at it. I think it matters, so we'll do it. That's still a no. So we wasted a primal dice, hoping for a bigger roll. All right, let's do uh, Usheron. Um... Deranged Transformation. We'll get it on a 10. Let's have to stop it with our plus one. And that is a nine. Um, lizard, but you'll need to hit box cards on the dice. Because you only had the one primal, right? Yep. You can put out the chalice. You can Mystic Shield. You can make me punch myself. 
But stop. Uh, this, what was the spell again? Uh, deranged transformation. We stop. <laughs> All right. So, um, I don't think Horfrost is in range for anybody meaningful because he used to be holy. Yeah, we're just out. I piled out. It was dumb. All right, so let's go ahead and try Blizzard, I guess. Go for the box cars. box cars. Oh, almost. Got one <laughs> fix in there. All right, Mystic Shield. Uh, okay, well, you're going to try and abide it? My S plus one. That's an 11. Okay. And then we've got... Uh, that was both of his spells. Chalice, I guess. You got it. All right, Chalice will be out somewhere. Probably in this range, be my guess. We'll figure that out in a minute. And then um, his last spell, which I don't think it like or frost. No, not a five. So good there. Um, Ushran has one more spell. Uh, so let's do his war scroll spell. Six. Does it go up on a six? It's a good question. I think it's a seven. If it goes up into six, you got it. It's a set. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gourmain, doing his Gourmain thing. So. He's so Gourmain. <laughs> you, unbound, you, you unbound ranged, so that means I do need the plus one wound, I suppose. So we'll do the plus one wound on a three. No. All right. I think I did. Oh, I guess he gets noble deeds. Being inside the chair. And then, oh, I got to bring models back with the aberrants. So we'll bring three back over here. And I am in combat already, right? Yes. Okay. Bring three there. And then we'll bring back a knight. Um, we'll put it, I guess, right here. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Sad missing the, uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> Yeah, no, sad missing the um, plus one to wound on two different opportunities, especially the one that just was at three, but oh well, it is what it is. So let's move on to uh, movement. Move to movement. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move it. All righty, we're back again. Long wait for us, not so much for you. We did intimidate. We're still going to try and do some other things, though. This uh, ghoul unit moved that way. Chalice is right there. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to do some charging. So let's start with uh, Stu Usheron. He'll, he'll get it. Let's do the big unit of ghouls. Well, not big unit, but just a unit of ghouls there. Um, oh, I forgot to tick this guy down. So this guy should be down too because he's bringing back... Actually, he should be down because he's... One for the knights, because he has the trait that mm -hmm. reduces it. And I'm going to bring back two models. So that's going to put him to four. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to bring back two models by going to three, mm -hmm. by bringing two back over here to bring them back to full to 20. Yeah. So these two will go there. And then these two horrors are going to come in over here. And just be annoying. I can't bring that thing in, though. So Is that for Lucavine? Yes. Um, where's your three-incher? Okay. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, let's just put it like this, like so. Well, I can't move that, but yeah, like that. Okay. So now we're going to charge that unit of ghouls. Hopefully, I get a big one. So I, I need a big one to get that I objective do. over there. Not that I really need it, but we get an eight. So an eight will do it. So I'll get them eight this way. So that's not going to affect anything. So we know there's an eight there. And then. I've been really debating whether I want to charge over here or not. Because I... Do I kill that? You know, are they one wound apiece? Mm -hmm. Like, if I get a spike, because they're not at full strength, so I'm not going to get the fives and sixes. If I get a spike like I did over here, then maybe? Because I had, what, 15 saves on you at negative one rend? And I do have feast save and the rend, or feast day and the rend. Do you still have feast day after the charge? Oh, yeah, you'll have it from that guy over there. Yeah, from this guy. Well, no, because it's wholly within 12. And Ushron is pretty far. Yeah, I won't. So, I'm good. I'm going to leave them. 
we got the charge there. We got the charge on these ghouls, those heroes. I don't think there's any reason for them to charge as much as I'd love to go fight Belladama. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Understandable. And then we will get the Intimidate. Um, that's already happened. So sure. let's uh, move these things and we'll come right back. Get the space bar. All right, monstrous actions. So we're going to try and roar Lukavai. Sure. Nope. Lukavai is going to attempt to roar Usharan successfully. And then she is... He's a four up save base. Yeah, he's got plus one from the thing here. And then he no longer has Mystic Shield. She is going to Titanic Duel Usharan as well. Cool. All right. So Usharan's got to do his thing. Minus one bravery to those two. Yep. So we'll roll for Lukavai. Yep. No. And the Blood Knights. So, uh, moving on from there, we got to decide where we're going to attack. Oh, man. Your, what is your save and what is my rend into you for Lukavai? Uh, Lukavai is effectively plus two to save right now, and the, the horses are also effectively plus one, just because you're within range of her, and she's on minus tavern. Yeah. A pile away from her. Almost makes sense, especially since you roared me. Hmm. Because your base isn't going to fit in between your own models there and my models here. Not until after Blood Knights, or unless you kill one. Yeah. The Blunnets are more likely to do more damage than she does. Yeah, that's also what I was thinking. So, Yeah, yeah let's just go with Ushara. Um, I think that's just the thing that makes sense. We'll try and get outside of Lukavai. Right there. Ta-da, we're outside. We and then we will attack the Blood Knights. Right. We will uh, use Lukavai's free CP to tell them to defend themselves. Cool. Let's start with the big attack. So this will be threes and twos. Hits a three. Wounds a two. Negative two. And these will be base base negative two. Mm -hmm. All right. So there were plus two. So these are on threes. You take one. D three plus three. Six. So six up board. Rerolling ones. Ward two of them and lose one guy and a, a floating wound. Okay. And then we've got his other attack. So this will be threes and threes. Ooh, ouch. Oh man. You need to roll. Oh, you're supposed to do it on threes. <laughs> I, need to, I need to roll threes like you roll your fives for your ward. Hey, there we go. We've got a decent wood roll though. So five, negative one. I'm a negative one. They saved them all. Here we go. We are going to go. Well, we have to remove a model. Float onto you, even though you're the leader, the banner still can give commands, and we've got plenty of people around you. Um, we are going to go with we didn't charge, but why risk it? We shouldn't risk it. We are going to activate with. Lukavai, who can't go anywhere. So she's just going to stay put. Um, and she is going to put everything into these guys. And she's well, all going out defense. To all out attack. 
So she'll be on twos and two because of that in finest hour. Mm -hmm. uh, five attacks, twos and twos. Four will hit. And three at run two. So fives. Yep. Save one. Uh, two each. Three at the gory claws on twos and twos. How would you do it? Oh, no. <laughs> what the heck was that? And this is why we do her first. D6 tails. <laughs> For one tail on what, threes and threes. What happened, Rob? And threes. This is just how she rolls. <laughs> one at red one. Six. So just the four damage, potentially. You got the four. And we feel all the way back up. <laughs> She's swinging. All right, um, let's go with these ghouls over here. Uh, we hit the space bar real quick. All right, I got 55 attacks going into the dogs on the objective all the way over there. Mm -hmm. So this will be threes and fours. I used all out attack on them. And then, of course, fives and sixes will auto wound. Got two fives, a couple of sixes. This is only 30 of them so far. This is the wound rule. All right. Pretty good wound rule. So you've got five, 10, 15, 19 so far. And then I need another 25 attacks. All right, and we're going into threes, and auto wounds. You're right, auto wounding is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like, surprisingly good. So you had 19, so 20, 25, 32. Negative one. And then twenty twenty five thirty one. So we got sixes and sixes. So you gotta basically make seventy five percent. Followed by... We can do it all six. Probably not. One, two, three, four, five, six dogs. And... Five more wolves! In, in the, the grave! grave. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got. I don't really this many wolves. <laughs> you got blood knights. You got blood knights. Two. Whoop. Just like that. All four of them going in. Get back. While you do that, I'm going to start piling yep. these guys in. Speed it up a little. Four. Threes and threes into Ushron. Get the lances. Threes. That's four at Ren, two damage, one. So I'm plus one to save for my delusion. So a three, and you said it's negative two? Negative two. So it goes to fives. Save two. And just one each. And then we've got the hooves on fours and fours. Fours. Uh, one. No red. Missed. One damage. Takes three. We're slowly getting there. 
very slowly. <laughs> All right, got 41 attacks in the Luke of I. This will be fours and threes. Not bad. Threes. Okay, you have three saves so far. A negative one. Big ones, looking for twos. One sneaks through. And then three damage. Two. And then you have seven at the two damage. And then I still have more dice to roll. And one two da two two damage. So we're up to seven damage. And then the next set of dice. We reward two of that, so we've taken five so far. Got one big save and then three small ones. Big save, we're good. And small ones. We take one more. And we take two more. So that is five. Seven damage. Okay, we're getting there. Yep. I would say that's it. That is it. You've got your, your five. Yep. Five point turn. Going into bottom of four. Sometimes. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to actually have a wound on the vampires at the start of the turn if they just keep healing themselves. Oh, okay. Um, oh, you got one now. I got, I got seven of them now. Um, yeah, we were just talking about it. My battle tactic, I have a book one in Soul Blight, where I either have to use the Hunger to heal three vampires or a general. And Luke of I is a general. There you go. Seven damage on him. Um, and that brings us to Primals. Nope. Yep. Three. Yes. Um, so I have two, you have one. And we will... How many wounds does the, the big boy have? 18 or 16? I believe it's 16. Uh, 16. Yeah, let's let's cast some spells. None of my summonables are... My, your, my one summonable model. What's your heroic action? <laughs> uh, my heroic action is going to be... Uh, to go for... Did we already take up our CP? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for an extra command point on Luke of I. And I get it. I'll do it on uh, Usheron. I'll also get it. I'll do that. Yeah, we're going to need all three of our cats. So we're not going to attempt to get rid of the chalice. Okay. Uh, bring us to spellcasting, I suppose. So for our first spell, um, I've got one primal and you've got one as well. No I pitch. have two. You get two. I had the acolytes. <clears throat> um, for our first spell, Belladama is going to cast Liking Curse. This is her DD3 mortal spell. And that will go on a 12. What's it do? Do D3 mortal wounds for every model slain. You bring a wolf unit with that number of models. So if I kill three bottles, the unit of ghouls. Well, well, we'll try and stop this. And I do have that unit of ghouls within range. Yep. Oh, wow. That's a good start. <laughs> it's well, not. It. Yeah. Oh, that's not. Actually, no, it? you need to add one prime. Add a primal. All right, we're well, down to single primals apiece. For our next trick, we will attempt to create some exploding sixes. Actually, for our next trick, we will attempt to six inch pilot. That will start on a seven. We're going to add our primal dice to it to make that into a 13. You're good. Um, we are going to be six inch piling in while we are within six of this horror unit. Sure. 
And then we're going to follow that up with a Mystic Shield coming off of Velva. Which will go up on a set. That's neat. Hey, we got a spell off. <clears throat> we, um, we both rolled fairly high on some of the spells today. Mm -hmm. I had a couple pretty big unbinds. Yeah. Bring us into the movement phase. Let's get, check it. So I had a redeploy. You moved your knights over here. If I had not redeployed, he would have been able to bring in a unit of 10 man and just take the objective. We're going to run this boy. So I redeployed, got three inches, and got more models on here. Cruising. Let's not forget you exist. <laughs> um, All right, so you're going to bring something back? Paid. Let's see if we get back some bodies. We do. Considering that you've only got 6, 11, 15 on that objective. I think the appropriate thing to do here is... We've got some more bodies on the objective. And we're going to go into the charge phase. I don't think we have enough three inch markers. <laughs> and we're going to start the charge phase by attempting to charge with Belladama. Keep going six inches. She will use that six inches to. Go right in here. Yeah, might as well. Boop. And then we are going to activate with Monstrous Rampages. Are you done charging? Or are you charging over there? Beta gets it. You guys are 19 on your own. So you take it. But what we don't want to have happen is we're just gonna have to risk it. Charge over here. And they are in. Um, and that's it for charges. Monster Shrampage. We are going to roar, then stomp. So roar, successful, stomp, unsuccessful. And we are going to activate over here. Okay. They are going to be my all out attack. They have a unit champion. They've got. Is it one render, two? Rend one. It'll be 21 attacks. I don't think I care. I'm good. Then 21. These are going to be on threes and threes. And three. We'll do two mortals in addition, and then nine rend one. They are two each. Thirteen. Six. Eleven, twelve. 
Okay. Um, I guess we pile on with the horrors next. It's the only thing that really makes sense in this scenario. All right, don't take four damage. <laughs> I'm outside of three here, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, not leaving the objective. She should still be your closest model. Well, oh, maybe for that one that's close to Belmont. Yeah, I'm just getting more onto the objective. I don't think it'll make a difference, but who knows? You never know. So, got eight dudes. This is five attacks apiece, so it'll be 41 attacks. This is 30 dice. So it'll be fours and threes. Here's what we can do. And threes. No six. Well, one six. One six. We're good. Okay. And then you've got six saves, negative one. Twos. Right. We're good. You're still on twos. Uh, because of all at the fence, it reduces your end by one. Oh, okay. You're just always on twos. Pretty much. Oh, that's bad. Two, negative one. Good. Okay. Um, what is go. dead may never die. Seven, twelve. Plus four, sixteen. So we're still good. Uh, we are going to have nobody else is in combat that matters. So Belladama is going to put all of her attacks into your general. This is my general. Oh, so this is all the pleasure. This one, the Horfrost. Yeah. So we're going to poke him when he's plus one. Um, I'll use my all at defense here. Sure. So five oh. attacks on threes and threes. Mm, I could use it there. I don't know. That's fine. I'm good. Yeah, I'll use it here. They all hit. Good talk. <laughs> wow, dude. Six you... attacks on fours and fours. <laughs> <laughs> You've had that happen a few times. This is how uh, vampires roll. So two at no range. All right. Threes. Save them. Weird. All right. So, I guess we got aberrants and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess the two, we'll roll those two goals right now. Oh. So, the leader guy, so fours. Cool. Glad we came. Uh, one. We take one. All right, cool. We're doing big stuff now. So, let's pile in an arch regent, like so. Arch Regent will have six total attacks. Five, six. These will be threes and threes. Three, negative one. Making four fives. Two damage each. Making four sixes. Take four. Okay. And then we will go with. Oh, yeah, it's from somebody recently. It's my go again, right? Oh, Luke of Ice yeah. to attack. Okay. Luke of Ice putting all of her attacks, of course, into these horrors. Yep. Um, and yeah, she's not going anywhere. So, five attacks on threes and threes. Start strong. Let's see if we can do it again. <laughs> well, after the other guy, you probably should. Right, so, three at run two. Uh, so, sixes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Luke of I, you just can't fight <laughs> I don't ever do that. That's nuts. You're good. 
Uh, we got the three gory talons on twos and threes. Wow. Three hits. And two at run two. Sixes. Those are three each. All right. There you go. And then D6 for two tails on fours and fours. Two at red one. Or one each. Save one of those. So you got seven total damage. Save two of those, so five. So we will heal down to two. Okay. This dude's going to pile in onto the objective. I have six attacks and threes and threes. Three at negative one. Let's see. Two, one. two damage each. Nope, that's too many. <laughs> and we'll ward one, take three. How many wounds does she have? Nine. Close. Very close. Like I'll take up to six. And then you've got a battle truck. Goodbye. And then we've got one, two, more tactic. Yeah, cause how many do you have on here? Um, she counts as nine. Oh. So 19. And I have... So 6 plus 11 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 gets you to 18. Oh, wow. Close. Very close. All right. <laughs> I was really expecting her to kill him. Another five-point turn for you. Yep. All right. Squeaking it. Roll off. I got a five. All right, big dice. Three. All right. Well, I got to take the turn. Sure. All right, we're not going back on camera because we're just going to kind of fly through this. I'm going to do the uh, flesh eater one. I got to hold this objective in the middle with uh, one of each kind of thing. So I just got to bring some ghouls over here and smash those skeletons in their face. And maybe I will be able to get it. It shouldn't be hard, though. And then um, primal dice. So one for me and you. Nope. And then another one for me. So you have one, I have two. And I'm going to give Beldama the CP for going second. Okay. Um, I got to return models with my aberrants. So I guess I'll return two horrors. And I'll just go like so. One there and one here. Mm -hmm. That guy will heal up the one wound that he has on him. Um, he'll heal 2d3, so that's 3, so he's good. We yes. will use her CP to rally those wolves. Okay. Thank you. All right. And then... Yeah, we'll find tower build. Okay. You haven't found a tower yet? Nope. She's been hanging out in the back. Cool. Then we've got uh, casting and prayers and stuff. So let's start off with uh, Blizzard, I guess. That's a good one to start with. A 10. Place to start it. And stop it. We'll auto, <laughs> we'll auto it. So hey, now I've got two primal dice. Watch out. <laughs> I got one left. Um, Belladama, I guess. She's your general, right? She it affects is. my uh, grand strategy. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good. 16. She's dead. All right. So that'll guarantee me my grand strategy then. Maybe. Probably. Well, Very likely. It does. <laughs> Unless you kill all three of my aberrants somehow. There's magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that'd be a lot of magical. Um, all right. So let's go with the purple sun from the same guy. Or let's do I can't cast anymore. Oh, when you get the auto? Yeah. Okay, get cool. The primal surge. All right. Well, then we'll, whatever. Horfrost on the other guy. Uh, nine, and then I guess I don't care. It's fine. Go ahead. Do you want to unbind that? You got it. All right. So we'll go up to negative three rend on the horrors. Sure. Not that it's going to really matter anyway. Um, moving on from there, we've got purple sun. I'm all out of my buttons. Do I need the purple sun? I guess we cast the purple sun. I don't know. 
Well, we're going to miscast instead. Mm -hmm. So two mortal wounds, sixes, block one of them, take a wound. Probably should have done the healing at the end of the phase. And then from there, we got to do the prayer on a three. Yes. So prayer, they're probably out of range. They are. So we'll put it on the aberrant with uh, blizzard. So aberrant with blizzard will have that prayer right here for the five up ward. And then we are out of, oh, we have Ushran to cast. So we'll do Usheron. Um, I don't know if he can use it to cast to make somebody attack themselves. Probably not. Yeah, they attack another unit. Okay, Mystic Shield. Uh, we'll get it on a ten. So we'll put Mystic Shield on Usheron himself, and then that way he can help me with my grand strategy. And then from there we've got Deranged Transformation. We'll get on a seven. So that'll go on these guys. So they will be plus one to wound. And then they also have Horfrost for negative three rend. And then we've got Gourmain. Gourmain will choose the Blood Knights for his three up, if I get it. Yes, for plus one to wound against the Blood Knights. Sure. So plus one to wound against them. Then we're going to go to uh, movement. So we'll be right back. Okay. We have moved some stuff around, shifted some things. Um, end of movement, I can use Noble Deeds to bring more models back onto the table. Fully within six, outside of nine. So I might as well use that to bring some more dudes back over here. So we'll get half strength unit. Five, ten. We're just going to try and... Uh, Deny as many points as we possibly can. So they'll be right in here. Probably get like five or six of them on. Maybe more than that. Yeah, more than that. Outside of nine of you. So a little less than that because of the nine. Okay. So got a unit of ten coming back in over there doing death stuff. Then we got to uh, do some charging. So let's charge this unit of ghouls because they're my most important unit for charging right now. And we need a four. You got it. A nine's gonna do it. So they're gonna be able to get in. Um, I'm gonna do it now because it's gonna make a difference. Maybe, not really, because he's not gonna charge it anyway. It's gonna be these two. So he'll charge three. Going straight forward. He'll charge seven. So he'll be straightforward there. And then um, I had to use six noble deeds to do that. So I'll just take it off this guy to bring those guys back. And then we're going to try and charge uh, Usheron. We're going to try and tie up those blood knights just to further prevent you from taking an objective, possibly. And we got an eight. You did. Is that going to break a grand strat? No, because these guys are aberrants too. This is the only one that's partially in my territory. Yeah, right now. Yeah, um, yeah it's yeah. Because I have to, I have to pile in. Yeah, but I'll still only be in there. Oh yeah, we'll go, we'll go. It's Lukavai. Where do we? Yeah, because if I come here, I'll be out of your territory. So I guess we're going into Lukavai. Not ideal, but. That's what it is. So we'll be there. And then uh, if you could hit pause real quick, I'm going to move these guys in. All right, I threw the ghouls in, um, did the pile in already. We've got to do monstrous actions. I will, I guess, I don't know. We'll roar. We got it. We're going to roar the horrors. We're going to tie the wounds floating on them. We're going to Titanic Duel uh, Usheron. All right, then uh, we're starting with the ghouls. First, I'm going to do his thing, so you're going to maybe another minus one bravery. Yeah, so it'd be eight, bravery eight. eight. And yeah, that's a last. nine, so you will fight last with Luke Abai. And then we're going to go here. It's going to be 61 attacks. We conveniently still have 30 dice. So this will be an all out attack here to try and get rid of these skeletons. And we will get the fives and the sixes. So it's be threes and fours. What's well, a lot of fives and sixes? 
and a lot of threes. You're fighting the skeletons? Yeah. They're my all effects. Yep. Auto wounds. Okay. So five, ten, fifteen, eighteen. We'll get again. We are saving on ties with all the sets. And these are all one damage still. Yep. Sixes, three rolling ones. So far, we've lost eight. Okay. Wounds. Hits. More wounds. And then I have one more die. That's an auto wound. Cool. That made that easy. 10, 15, 17 at negative one. Nice. <laughs> I know. That's one MSU unit? Yeah. All right, we got two models left. Saving on fives. Model five. Sixes. Three rolling ones, and that's it. Permanently dead unit. We did it. You finally permanently killed one. All right. Into the fight we go. Um, keep fighting. Oh yeah. All right. Fuck. Can more, she live? More things she to attack. She shouldn't be able to live. She shouldn't, but we'll find out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times five, 45. So it's 46 total. All right. Here we go. Fours. I don't think it matters if she dies, but. It does. Does it? If she lives, I have a chance of getting my grand strat. If she dies, I don't. Oh, your grand strat. Yep. Because I could still potentially retreat her, pull stuff out, and blast really hard over here. Maybe control all three. Okay, so that was 30 so far. So you've got nine regular saves and five six or three damage saves. So five three damages. Looking for these are Ren three becoming Ren two, so we're saving on fives. You got me. <laughs> we did it. So four of them get through. Twelve. She's dead. Hey, we did it. You got there. Yeah, let go. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, a lot of euros. <laughs> All right, let's score it up. All right, five points. Yeah, you got it. And my grand strat. All right, flipping it over. I don't get any more CP. Um, I will attempt to rally these blood knights. No. Um, for my battle tactic, I will... Oh, you're in a five. I just need one more. Um... Yeah, we're just here for the one, two more. So for my battle tactic, I am going to intimidate the invaders. Makes sense. Um, you can't get your grand strat now, right? No. Yeah, so it's, no. think that's the ball so, game. So the only thing I can do is potentially grab this objective, uh, yeah. which will make you win by one. Yep. With the grand strat? With the grand strat, because you went down by two and yeah. the grand strat's for three. Yeah, so you'll score. Uh, yeah. So. We, we, we don't need to roll it out. You got the game. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell of a game, man. I had a lot of fun. Ran late, but... Yeah, like, if Luca Vice was a tight out, game, I would have retreated her over here. 
they would have gone in to try to do the clear, and because you were able to bring them back over there, I would have had to bring a unit out of the grave, put one model within six of this grave, and gotten enough so that five or six would have been able to, to take the objective. It, it was a stretch at yeah. that point. Um, yeah. As soon as you got that model on, the, that unit on there, and took her out, that really closed the door. That purple sun... Yeah, just just the one my back. The one turn. (laughs) I was not expecting you to get through sixty wounds in one turn. (laughs) Yep. Now that sixty wounds, most of it out of five up ward. Yeah, that was was pretty good. It was an interesting game. Thanks again for coming out. Thank you. I think it's time for us to go to bed. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for watching.